Welcome, folks. I want you to come take a trip with me. We're going back. We're going way back. Yes, we're going to pick up Einstein and Marty and even that old son of bitch Doc is welcome. We're going back to the future. We're going to, uh, let me pull it up. We're going to watch uh, Kane Shades, a few of his novellas here. See how many we can get through. Let's share it over here. Let's try to dive. Uh, and today I'm going to give him my two cents. I'm going to try to stay. Uh, uh, there's no way I could be biased in this. Let's just be honest. But uh, I'll give you my two cents and everything. Uh, this is on the Kane Shades channel. What's up, Montauk? Charlie Labor. Yanks, Claudio, Vito, Seymour, Mitty Demucha. What's up, my brother? Co-train, Ken Kniff from Connecticut. What do you expect? What's going down? Jerry from the land down under. Who needs Crocodile Dundee when we got wogs like Jerry? Randy, what's going down? Victoria Young, how you doing? Well, it's Kid Rock and you don't stop. What's up? We'll let a few people get in. We're going to play uh, Mob Two's novella. Kane Shades did a good job with this, actually. It's, it's pre uh, pretty funny. And it lets people see uh, what's been going on here in the uh, the last, uh, what, I don't know how many months of this stuff. I have no idea. Kane Shades has got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, old clips and old content on here. Let me fix this thing over here so I can see the screen right. Oliver, what's up? If I miss anybody, don't mind. Claudio. Sweet Chuck. What's going down, Sweet Chuck? Stay away from Bobcat Galtway. What's up, Jerry? Yeah, this is from Kane's channel. It's the March Novella. What's up, Bill? Novellas. Uh, let a couple more people get in before I start it, because I was waiting for Timmy Smith. It's Timmy Smith Reaper to come in. Timmy Smith Reaper. He was coming in to build sand castles and then kick them down. I see Maddie. What's going down? Faye, Yanks for life. Did the Yankees win the other night? Not too sure. See all of a sudden in there. What's going on? Jane Perry, how you doing? You've been hanging with Tackleberry lately. Well, tell Tackleberry not to... uh. Train you to rip troats up. Remember Tackleberry's wife was a crazy nut, too? That family was funny. Remember we went over to eat at the house, and they were decking each other and punching each other every time they passed the salt? It was pretty funny. But looks like we got on the screen here. We got Paps, Piggy, and Cane Shades. And let's see what goes down. This is uh, episode one. Friends, it, it, it's over with. You know what I mean? As far as um, the Calandra guy... You know, he's he's doing his thing. He's not glorifying it. But it is what it is. Grab it, you know. It, uh, I, maybe I was uh, raised a little bit. Uh, this is Kane Shades being frustrated right here that, like, that Piggy uh, started his friendship with Jimmy. I really didn't mind. I didn't care. You know, I hated stoolies and stuff, but I don't – obviously, if I uh, – I didn't care that Piggy was friends with him. You know, I used to still go on Piggy's show and stuff. I wouldn't go on there with Emmy, but – I would still go on there. And Kane, I remember, got mad at me for sticking up for Piggy with that. Kane got mad. He's like, oh, no, man, fuck that. And uh, now that I could go back, uh, I would, like, tell Kane he was right. But let's listen to them. Different, but a rat is a rat. So He's 100% a rat. He's a rat. And Calamandria back. See, Calamandria back then was uh fighting with a liar so everybody was trying to like not be super mean to the for, to the little helmet to baby helmet we were trying to make helmet go fight him but it wouldn't happen well helmet did challenge aletto to a fight aletto did back down from the helmet that's a fact aletto did back down from the helmet and you know what i was talking so take an email <laughs> This is John Wolf. Look, he just came from the dentist. He's got a toothache. Remember those old movies that they tied a thing around your head? I thought he was in a bunny suit. And Wolf breaks character for a minute here. Yeah, Wolf starts laughing and breaks character, John Wolf. I don't know what he's got tied around his head. A bunch of tidy whities togas, cloths. But I always thought it was a bunny suit at first. But it wasn't a bunny suit. What are you going to say about that, Lico? This guy is totally insane, but funny. 
This guy is a character right here. But what do you say about that? And, and Paps is going full Paps. Paps is getting angry. Paps just wants to be Elma Fudd right now. He wants to pull out the shotgun and blow John Wolf to pieces. Let's just be honest. Paps wants to end Peter Rabbit's day, Peter Cottontail's day. How do you think that? Email. He's going to really be pissed at you then. So you just but you're saying right now, oh, but you're saying right now that you're going to do it and talking that out on me. Watch him break character and laugh. Can I ask that you this question? What the people. hell is that thing around your head? See, he's laughing. John Wolf breaks character over here and starts to laugh. I remember this. This was funny. <laughs> see him? See him? He's breaking character, so he's shutting the thing down. Uh, John Wolf, you're a psycho uh, psychopathic maniac, but you're pretty funny. Oh, hey. <laughs> this guy's a troll, Lee. Yeah, Kane's just like, they didn't know what to make out of this guy coming on with a little bunny outfit or, or, or diapers over his head. I don't know what it was. It was <laughs> He was covered like a ninja. Lee, oh, this guy. You are <laughs> not. He can't even stop laughing. He's trying to call everybody anti-Semitic. But he can't stop laughing. Paps don't know what's going on. He's just like, what the hell is this? Him and Kane are just astonished that somebody would come on with uh, white towels around their head. Oh this, guy, this guy, <laughs> him, he's a troll. He, wow. <laughs> uh, I'm sure Mob Rats doesn't want to come on right now, but he is always welcome. He can jump in on any of my shows. Uh, this is back when... Uh, Oh, that's Mob Rats UK le leading a comment. This is a long time ago. This is uh, Piggy wanting me to jump on the show or something. Especially after last night. Holy shit. I don't know what he's talking about. Last night, I must have made fun of somebody or done a show on somebody. I don't remember what he's talking about. Name a uh, celebrity. And I'd rather have Mob Rats exposed. Than the show. Well, I, got, I think he was just trying to flatter me there, but the flirtation don't work there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> that celebrity, I don't care who it is. Oh, but I forget what he's talking about. I don't know. Maybe he's talking about the night I uh I uh had the beef with Paps. I'm not sure. Um, Jimmy is my fucking friend, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, we don't honestly. None of us really know each other that well. Okay, I consider them friends. Uh, this is FBS, aka Piggy. Uh, 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 stating his love and admiration for the helmet at the time. Friends, because you know, like I said. Uh, Jimmy and me talked a couple of times. All right, this is my. Uh, this is Kane with gold rings. Response video to Fat Ball Sicilian. If you notice in the beginning of the video, Fat Ball Sicilian is a little upset with me. Um, today. Uh, he was mad at Kane Shades because Kane Shades was saying uh, you shouldn't be friends with the stoolie Emmy and all that stuff. The helmet, and for people who don't know, maybe first time watches, the helmet is Jimmy Helmet Calamandria, Jimmy Calandra who goes by Jimmy Calamandra, A.K. The Running Bitch, uh, A.K. Harvey Weinstein, uh, A.K. I Eat Paint Chips and Get Punked in the Ass. Today, I was doing the Lee Cole show, and um, Lee Cole was on his thing. He was doing something, this, this love thing with uh, Gene Barello and Johnny Light. And hey, he's, uh, I think he's talking about when Paps had uh, Barello and A-Light on uh, ballroom dancing. I think they were ballroom dancing on Paps' show, and Kane wasn't happy about that. And then Jimmy Calandra dropped a live video, and the comment section was booming. And um, I told I told uh, Lee Cole, hey, go ahead and, and hit the live. Uh, go to Jimmy Calandra, and let's see, let's see what the fuck's going on. This is YouTube, right? So anyways, and then everyone was talking about fat ball Sicilian. you hot topic fat ball Sicilian. you were the fucking hot topic. so he's basically explaining hey fbi the reason i was talking about you you were the hot topic so you know don't get all emotional uh i seen some uh, hamsters lives matter yes Faye, i'm uh i'm very happy to see that you say hamsters lives matter so do gerbils and small ferrets uh and small guinea pigs that jimmy calamandria has been buying in bulk at pet stores and shaving them and putting them in plastic uh, little things and pushing them in places where the sun don't shine and hopefully would never shine. Topic. So I was reading what everyone was saying. Now, I was under the impression that you didn't like informants. Uh, no. Once he realized that Emmy could help his channel and get him a few bucks, all that changed. 
Um, the first time I ever went on the Lee Cool Show, I believe you were with me. And I said it. I told him there was a YouTuber that did videos that started interviewing informants and had a bad fucking experience, you know? And I basically told Lee Cole the first time I even talked to him on the show that, hey, I wouldn't do it. Hold on. Somebody just said, did Emmy really do that with a dribble? Word on the streets. Hold on. Let me pull it up. Okay. Word on the streets is, <laughs> yeah, word on the streets. That's all I'm going to say. Word on the streets. Jason, my bro, what's up? C, what's going on? C, Baez or Moss? Johnny True Love. Piggy doesn't want to know. He blows my. Oh, well, technically, Emmy blew uh, Piggy off. He blew Piggy off. And that's why I said it was a rookie mistake. You know, these are informants now. And that's the route you want to go. Then that's that's on you. you but they've left Emmy in the dust now. Like update, everybody's turned on Emmy. Every because Emmy did it to himself with uh, Jimmy Calamandria. Should have never made up the Tommy Karate lies and the fake pitches and the fifteen minute video and the other seven videos. He shouldn't have done that. Interview informants or whatever. I just thought that you weren't fucking with informants. And now I'm entitled to my opinion, just like you're entitled to your opinion when you make your videos about different topics and you know i'm entitled to my opinion i don't fuck with snitches or rats you know i don't fuck with them that i'm really care what you have to say well you just made a number two right now so you're happy oh yeah you just <laughs> this made a number is me beefing with paps and cane shades uh shout out to the discord uh many moons ago Two sitting right there depends a great on day depends revolutionize the world you should know because you're older than me I don't think so, Dinobot. Yes, you are. No, Leosaurus Rex. I don't think so. So here's what you gotta do. Wait, have enough guts to show Thank you. Thank you. That's all he says. Way too high. I don't like them. Your way too is too feminine. Too feminine. Too feminine. You don't even know how to speak the English yeah, language. What, what it's, too it's, it's too feminine. It's Whatever too the case is, so you got. What happened to me in the Lee Cole the third show? Or what happened to me and Lee Cole? Well, um, me and Lee Cole spoke yesterday and we decided. All right, this is when Kane and Lee split over Tanto. Of uh, Gene, the home invader, uh, woman beater, Barello. They had a falling out for a little bit. The wheels fell off because Kane didn't want to deal with Barello uh, at the time. So they had a little falling out. To go our separate ways. Um, we just had a little creative differences. He wants to go one way and I want to go And another. I would say Kane wanted to keep his integrity and much respect to him for that. Wait. Um, that doesn't mean. But I since then, I believe Paps has denounced Tonto Borello. Paps has says, uh, "No more hunting on my land." Gene, go home. Gene say, "Kes Kimosabi, I go home." And Gene's back on the res, looking for another good woman to assault. Now I'm going to feud with you, cool, or anything like that. Personally, I don't have no ill will against him. Uh, he gave me an opportunity to go on this. So, and these two guys proved that over time that they had no ill will against each other. Neither can much respect to Kane and Papsky. Kane and Paps never attacked each other. They might have had a, uh, a little bit of disagreements behind the scenes, but Kane and Paps have never attacked each other online. And that's smart and respectable, uh, commendable on them. Got a few hundred subscribers. I appreciate that. But no, for the people that want me to go at Lee Cole, no. Yeah, see, people wanted him to attack Paps and vice versa, but they didn't feed into it. And here's uh, Piggy and the Deadbeat Dad, Deadbeat Don. And the match in John Gotti posters, I guess he's going to tell us how he had this customly made. It's very weird. But, uh, once you got me over those thousand subs, I'm like, oh. And he's lighting weed. Look at him. He's lighting a blunt right now. And they both have Bath Avenue T-shirts. This is when uh, they were cheering hardcore for Team Helmet. Uh, Helmet's hamsters uh, were, were an underground, we, we should say an underground uh, AAA team for a little while, the Helmet's hamsters. But the Helmet's hamsters did break up recently. And uh, they left uh, their skipper, Emmy, in the wind. And Emmy's blowing in the wind, eating paint chips under his bed right now, crying with a plastic object protruding out of his anus. All right, I gotta show my face now. With no YouTube channel. I have to. I must. I gotta get comfortable with it, you know? Because I don't even like, I'm old school, though. I don't do Facebook. 
Yeah, you're old school, okay? You you don't take care of your child. How is that old school? You live with grandparents, and when you and when you take fits and you don't have your weed money, you get naked right out of the shower. He was in the shower, butt naked, didn't have his weed money. He ran and started jumping on his grandparents' bed to wake him up naked for weed money. Sick kid. He's time. You know, I don't like looking at myself like this. You know, I, don't... Uh, I wouldn't want to look at myself neither if I was an ugly person inside like that. Take care of your child. Why are you, you know? oh, you're telling me? Look at me. This <laughs> so... is a fucking disaster. Yeah. See, at least Piggy's honest. Oh, I know. And trust me, I lived in Queens, New York. In... This is me and Piggy uh, talking on his channel many moons ago. At least he lived in New York. Yes, to eight years old, but you didn't grow up in New York. You grew up in Pennsylvania. You should be proud of that in the fucking 80s and you know into 90 and i'm telling you new york city fucking loved him. When, when he was on oh trial, he's he's uh he's uh talking i think we're talking about john Gotti right now so this is back when piggy loved Gotti and worshipped him now he doesn't like him no more because he got into an argument with his daughter the whole fucking city gathered they were they were uh, everybody was behind them there's yellow ribbons on every tree I mean, tie a started. yellow ribbon around the old oak tree you know I, mean? and, and I think I'm, i think every stand-up man in the universe respects that man because the man was a man of integrity and you yeah. have to respect men of integrity all men of integrity from john Proctor to thomas moore all people who are who are who they are and don't give it up much respect to them and much respect for john Gotti for not being a filthy stool pigeon and to walk into what he was to the end and yeah. he was a man of integrity. If you don't like him or not, but listen, this guy never told on nobody. He went and suffered. This guy could have been hiding in a hole like Gravano. Yeah, they would listen. They would have let John Gotti out of prison. Listen, the government would have let him out of jail. No problem. He might have done maybe a year in jail, if that, because he could have gave up all the bosses and all the families. John Gotti could have put away thousands of people. Think about that. Yeah, he could have put away thousands of people for a long time. And have been out free, he'd be still alive. He would have got the cancer. That's true. John Gotti would be still alive today if he was an informant. They would have got him the cancer treatment. He would have been on a special island. He would have had uh, Bill Gates, his doctor, the whole nine. The whole nine. Treatment, he would have kept all his money. No, he says, this is who I am, and I'm going to walk it to the end. And how can't you respect that? Yeah, there was a story, and I don't know if it's true, but... No and Piggy talking. still thinks like this. He just don't want to admit it because he got in a fight with the daughter. I haven't seen it was. I'm quite sure it was. And um, Piggy knows everything about the Gotti, John Gotti. He knows everything about him. Piggy has been uh, studying him for most of his life. They said that when they told um, John Gotti Sr. that he had that cancer, his exact words were, well, better me than a six-year-old. That right there says everything you need to know. Hi, Angel. Well, then how could you, if you respected that the guy said better me than a six-year-old, how can't you still respect that? He still respects that. He's just, like I said, mad at the daughter, so he hates the world. And this is him and Angel. This is maybe Angel's probably first time on the show because I still see the pyramid of Khufu on Piggy's head. I still see the Piggy age chilling there. So this is before uh, Dr. Frankenstein took the scalpel to Piggy's pimple. You hear me? Yep. I get so confused with this. I was trying to use my phone to get. Yeah, see, she don't know how to use. This is like Angel's first time ever on a show. She don't know how to do nothing. You could tell. Look. And for some reason, it wasn't working. <laughs> how are you? How? Thank you so much. Of course, Angel. You know. Uh, oh, hi, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Listen. Listen to the respect and like the admiration he has for her for coming on there. He loves it. Now Piggy wants to kill her. I've been so sick over all of this because I never ratted out. I keep getting accused of things that I know. Uh, the, what they're trying to accuse Angel is of uh, of calling the parole officer on Gene Borello. No, that was Jimmy Calandra. I almost said Calamandria. That was Harvey the Helmet Calandra. Jimmy, Emmy, he called Gene Borello's parole officer. And FBI knows that. Piggy knows that. He knows that as right as rain that he called it. Never did. I've never done anything to this man. I don't know 
why he is trying to torture my life. Well, I my my hypothesis, Gene Barello started attacking Gotti's daughter because of his friends with Johnny Aletto, Johnny A Light, a liar, a rat, the all around bad dad, a repulsive human being who runs around Europe with other 60 year old bisexuals uh, and just is a vicious, disgusting human being. I don't understand what his problem is. I, I don't pay anyone. I don't tell you. See, even back then, every since this lady came into the chat, she was accused of paying me, accused of paying Piggy, everybody. Well, what to do? I, I still want my money. Told him what to do. I never tried to. See, she's even saying, like, Piggy, I never told you what to do, anybody what to do. And now Piggy just recently said that she tells everybody what to do. So. The receipts are here, and I can't wait to Josie's Mob 2 Chronicles come out, and we have the book, and then someone puts it up as an audio book in the Hall 9. Control anyone's show. I don't have all of you getting money from me. This is so insane, but listen, I have to say one thing positive comes out of all this, and that's that I'm going to start my own channel. Oh, all right, this is when uh, Angel decided to start her own channel. To be continued. I, I mean, this but is no. We have it right here, folks. We're going to five of the novellas today. There is, There are six of them out, but I'm going to leave part six for the next round. Uh, let's say hi to the chat and see what, let's digest the first one and see how people are, see what people are saying about the first one over here. I see people saying buy Josie's book. Okay, that's a great idea. It will be out shortly. Uh, Dell says to the video section, all liars and, and I as big as, uh, let's see here. What's up, Carolina Cowboy? Well, am I paying them? You know that, uh, at least, uh, Lee King snap. Oh, is that a perverted name? I don't know. Angel lawyers will say whatever you want them to. You're paying them. You should know. I don't know what he's talking about. Thomas, Teresa, what's going on? All right, let's keep, uh, is Assassinino laughing right there? Uh, what's this guy say? You got that right, Emery. That's all credibility. Amen. All right, let's finish. Let's swatch part two. And he claimed it. So he says right here, this video series is not to slander anybody. It's simply just to tell the truth. And yes, and people can't say this is not the truth. Because this is everybody, including myself, speaking in our own words right here. So this is the truth right here, folks. And in the words of Jimmy Calandra, call the cops, call the cops. There's people chasing me in hotels. But on the other hand, I want to kill Emma Marie. I want to kill Marie and stab him in the net. I name it Emmy Command. Jimmy Calamandria is one of the biggest losers in this game right now. Sank that channel, Emmy. You stuttering freak. That's right. You know why? Well, George Adamo says, Candy Bot. You know why? <laughs> this is hilarious. He did a good I'm job with this. So angry. I can't he, he did a good job with this. So goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Oh, look at that fire. Imagine how you feel, but even I get angry at just hearing them even speak his name. He's talking about her father. So Piggy is right now, he's got the gaudy pom-poms in his hand. Give me a G. Give me an O. And uh, he's talking to Angel that he can't stand when people talk ill of gaudy and all that stuff. This is when he was uh, deep and then the boss is just chilling there with the Sons of Anarchy tattoo. Uh, just saying, get off my bike. Exactly. You know what I mean? They, they don't. They shouldn't even. I don't know. It's uh, it, it's unbelievable. And then to lie about him and everything. Yeah, imagine that, Piggy. Them to lie about uh his family. Like that's all Piggy does. Piggy has evolved literally into the baby Aletto. Like baby Aletto, literally. I guess late uh, in the last few days, Piggy's trying to change the act and like scrub things and 
uh piggy gone good boy piggy gone good uh piggy uh is gone on the right path <laughs> exactly exactly but eli was walking around for how many years calling my father a punk he got punked in the pod you're gonna see how What's up, Joy? Make sure if you're on Facebook, go to Alan Kaiser, Justice for Alan Kaiser Facebook page and hit that like button on Alan Kaiser Facebook page. Anybody doesn't know who Alan Kaiser is, he was a 16 year old boy shot by Sammy the Bull Gravano, as we call him, Schmeagle Gollum, the man with no eyebrows, child killer, uh, pill pusher. What if he got punked in the pot or not? You're going to see that very soon. I know I keep saying it, but you will see it. You will see it. He never got punked in any part. And then you talked so badly about him for all these years, and then suddenly what? Gravano turned his back on you, so now my father's, you know, the best thing ever. And what she's speaking about right now is, remember when baby Johnny Aletto, Johnny A, Lyra, A, Ratch, A, Snitch, all around bad dad, got called out and got caught for paying uh, Sammy the Bull. 3000 for a gangster shout out. Please, Sammy. Sam, a gangster. And I was a real tough guy. So Sammy gave him the, you know, the gangster shout out, gangster clout shout out for three grand. It costed Johnny for that. Johnny recorded it. He played the hell out of that thing, boy. He played that more than the friggin' Beatles were played in 67. You better believe it. And then. Sammy came out and like called him out and told everybody, hey, that goof paid me three grand. So I told, I said whatever I had to say because he gave me three grand. And Johnny Aletta went crazy. And all of a sudden he fell in love with John Gotti again. And go back. These people are sick people. They're sick. Very sick people. They want people. a pimple on my father's rim, and that's the truth. Not one of them. Well, I know. I agree. I think we all agree. Uh, there's no doubt. <laughs> wow. How times change. about that? One thing you never have to worry about is fear. And me turning on you over something stupid. Father's legacy to uh, be tarnished by, by any of these guys. No, it will be done by him. Don't worry about it. None of them guys will do it. Piggy will do that. Piggy will make sure that uh, he'll try and make an attempt for that. Hold on one second. Yeah. Fix this freaking thing over here. I found gold. Hold on. Let the show continue. Oh, hold on a minute. Teresa, I didn't see that. Thank you. Let me click on that. And I'll uh, make sure you go to, if you're on Facebook, like I said, go to the uh, Justice for Alan Kaiser uh, Facebook page. Oh, that was Mickey Bats. Mickey, I didn't see you. What's up, Mickey? Hit them in the ass, especially that Gorilla Harambe. Oh, this is before Harambe the Ripper. But yes, uh, I think Harambe the Ripper will be making appearance, will be making appearances in the in the new ones coming out. Because you got to think he just did part six. I can't find Teresa's nowhere. Well, I'll put up this one that backseat Emmy. But thank you, Mickey Bats, and thank you, Teresa. And yes, uh, Harambe will be appearing in the new ones. I think because Haram, this is about. With Piggy, the Boz, and Angel on the stream right now, I want to say this is probably about seven to eight months ago, possibly a year ago, uh, possibly a year ago. What's up, Bobby Vlog? Shout out to my buddy in the Philippines, all my friends out there in Filipino land. What's going down? Justice for Alan Kaiser. Mickey says, hey, Bobby. All right, let's get back. We see oh, what's in here. Yeah, Slug has a, uh, well, we don't want to get into Slug's problems, you know, real bad problems. Let's get back to the show. And they're bullshit, that's for sure. Oh, I see this, Mob Rats exposed. I'm not asking FBS to take sides at all, but I hope he will say boxing is wrong. Absolutely. fucking loot. Yeah, what happened there, Piggy? Oh, my God. Mob Rats. Um, and that's what I was doing. I wasn't trying to make Piggy, like, fight with people, but I wanted him to admit the doxing was wrong. Piggy admitted that back then, but Piggy changed cautious when uh, Piggy changed his course when Piggy got angry. It's like any little kid playing with his jack in the box. The jack in the box will not uh, work, so you smash it. Any talk of that pisses me off. Uh, anybody who doesn't <laughs> want their identity known should have right to that. 
and I don't care how mad you are at some. Can we spell integrity? Give me an I. Somebody that's just um. Wow. That's where I'm at. First of all. Yes, that's considered a rat move, Piggy. And uh, it's not cool. It's not cool at all. I don't agree with that. But <laughs> but now many things Piggy didn't agree with. He agrees with now. Just like all these other guys. Uh, and now, there's our helmet. There's our favorite little tard. There's our favorite little creepy sexual deviant, Emmy Weinstein. Harvey the Helmet Weinstein eating his paint chips in the basement like a freak of nature. Let's see what Emmy's talking about. This is the Larry Ma. It says Larry Mazza, John A. Laya, Sammy Gavano, something like that. I don't know. Let's listen to what this uh this stupid dri dribbling fucking prick has to say. Jimmy Dribble. There were no bodies, but there was a lead call. What is I love how they call people nobodies. Like, what does that even mean? Especially when Jimmy was just a crack smoking hubcap thief and tried to have sex with his friends' girlfriends, and he had to lure them to hotel rooms and come out in a bathrobe and flash you like he was on Benny the Hill show. This sexual deviant prick, Jimmy. How's it feel? Your channel shit the bed, Jimmy. Obviously, you don't know them. None of us knew each. Like uh, the, that shows their ego where they're coming from yep. because they think they're some, but it's just it's just an ego maniac thing. Well, Emmy not. had a lot of people believe, and he was some kind of like a like super house big killer gangster homie. Narcissistic title tales. It's the fat bull saying whether someone else wants to come on board. Well, the bull Sicilian is not going around saying he was. The gangster and, and uh, embellishing and talking like a big, big G. I, I, uh, I think he's a way, and he's not a rat. Lee Cole and the Bull Sicilian, I got their back all day long. This is back when I was friendly with Piggy, uh, obviously. I don't know what month this was. These I wish fucking I knew. rats. Because guess what? Those guys are not stool pigeons. So they get my respect. But not anymore since Piggy went full docs and uh, calling the cops on people. And yes, we do have we do have the footage in a few episodes. We're going to show you of Piggy calling the cops on Tony Pizza. You didn't tell on nobody. I don't care if you don't like them for whatever reason. They didn't tell on nobody. And they're not trying to say they were mob guys and shit like that. Uh, Jimmy was trying to act like he was a mob guy. He was the farthest thing from it. Everybody laughed at Emmy. And they are not stool pigeons. They got in trouble, and they did their time. Actually, no. I thought that back then, but evidently everything comes out in the wash. No time done. Mental ward. That was it. This one, a light. That one. Oh, all these guys were nobodies. Nobody. They're just making everybody was nobodies. What? What? No, George Odama. What? Everybody was nobodies. Believe there were nobodies. Nobodies. Okay. Uh huh? Hey, we we have the first appearance of Gay City. Oh my God, he looks like an aborted fetus. He would have puked. You know, it. it... Gay City's one of the biggest nerdiest goobas. You know, he was the kid in high school who was picked on, ridiculed. That's why he grew up to be a woman beater. And he put his ch children in danger many times. Driving drunk is no good thing, Gacy. Beating your girlfriend's, uh, beating your girlfriend up in front of the little Gacy is wrong. No matter what, how you look at it, it's very wrong. Uh, I'm, try I'm trying to keep up with the comments over here. Hold on, Tommy Karate fears the helmet. That's that was a weird comment. Uh, I don't think anybody fears the helmet. The hel uh the helmet is uh one of the biggest clowns around. Uh kid was picked down. Yes, he was picked last in gym class. He's got no athletic talent, nothing. Uh did Piggy meet Tonto playing basketball? Uh I don't think Tonto and Piggy ever met, but I don't I am not sure. I don't know. I know that they had a rat fest back in last year around this time. Uh, Gene Barello, uh, Tootie, and uh, Harvey the Helmet did meet at like a little bakery and start hugging at a diner and ate pancakes and waffles off Johnny Aletto's chest. 
it, it would be one thing if all you did was say that, hey, you know, from a gangster point of view, he, you know, he didn't. He's got a green screen. You're supposed to put something behind that, Gacy. Here's the guy who said he had connections with Mexican drug cartels. <laughs> said he went down and dealt with Mexican drug leaders in Mexico. He was heads of bike, biker gangs. He was in the Los Angeles mafia, whatever that is. I don't know. Snitch or whatever. But they made it out like he's a saint or a man of honor in general. No, he is not. He I don't even know who Gacy is talking about. Had a guy saw Because Gacy is literally always double talk. So yeah, that's why I like how Kane Shades put this right here. There's always two gay C's. Whoever will take gay C in. He's like a hooker in the winter. A hooker walking the streets in the winter. You open that door, he's hopping in. And half. I, yeah, I don't want to talk over No, I, don't, I understand. He all right, so what? All right, let's say all right, there's no proof of that, that God, he sawed some guy in half over his kid. No proof. But so what? Even if he did, if somebody killed your son, I think... You'd want to saw him in half, but there's no proof of that. These guys watch movies and get this stuff from the movies. It's insane. Just because it says it on an HBO movie doesn't mean it happened. A lot of bad stuff, though. And yeah, of course he did. He did, he yeah, did he a lot of bad stuff. And only well, a obvious, boy, it's like only they're mobsters, you moron. Only a fanboy is going to actually praise him more like that. Guys like myself and others who are around LCN. Listen, around LCN, this guy is out of his mind. This guy is just a pure YouTube bullshitter. Like, me and other guys that are, number one, you're English, Bob, dude. You're an Anglo-Saxon. Uh, and you're not even that, you're not even a Joe Watts or any of them kind of guys. You're not that guy. You, you're a clown on YouTube. That's it. You weren't, oh, what the, this guy's out of his mind. Wow. Or associates or whatever. He's trying to say he was a mob associate. Wait, wow. What the bullshit gets deep. We don't look at Gotti Sr. as a fanboy. We see him as just another colleague. <laughs> he called him a colleague. <laughs> he just called him a colleague. What kind of sick world do you live in, pal? I know you live with your mom and shit, but wow. If that, and we also judge wow. him from a much more critical point of a view. A much more critical point of view. This well, guy was, Every time you mention the God, he's... Uh, here we go. There's Emmy again. He's in someone's house. I don't know if he's in Tokyo Rose's house. G.I., go home, go home, G.I., G.I., go home. He's like, oh, shit. And then you got uh, the poker, same thing. Uh, Paps is talking about the hero worship of Jimmy Harvey Weinstein Calamandria, or the hero worship of uh, of Emmy. Like in the beginning, now they dropped Emmy. They don't look up to Emmy so much. Now it's more of a Joan Rivers. I mean, Billy Catullo, Mild Bill, Whiny Crying Bill. They kind of look up to him. Uh, I heard uh, Whiny Bill is trying to get them to use pronouns now for their names. Not too sure. You know, we... Uh, hold on, let me click on that, Donald. It's hard to keep up with the chats. If I miss anybody's super chat or something, I'm sorry. But thanks, Donald. Dimmy, <laughs> Dimmy Dicky Do. <laughs> Dimmy, Jimmy Dicky Do, how are you? I heard you were taking shit in the ass now. And Jimmy, Jimmy, he does look like Fred Flintstone or Bonnie Rubble. He does. And like I said, Jimmy's channel, Convict Shrink, put the nail in the coffin. When he came out with the Tommy Karate lies and the proof of the Tommy Karate lies, it nailed Emmy Weinstein Calamandria. It nailed him. His fans gave up on him. And now, don't get me wrong, the people didn't, a lot of his fans didn't believe or even care about him luring a woman to a hotel room under false pretenses for sex. They just wanted, uh, Emmy's fake stories and then they got caught they got caught jimmy got caught lying so a lot of people left him and don't watch his channel no more and uh you should have listened to schmiegel he's kind of um how do you say uh he's kind of a homosexual really figure out where he's coming from too because he has a guy behind him you're blasting the guy yeah someone said that he said colleague he really did say colleague literally colleague Colleague, Jay, Jay, Jay C is just a typical bullshitter this on a, a typical YouTube bullshitter. That's what he is. 
All right, let's. Uh, this is part three. Before I watch part three, let's get some things from the chaps. R.I.P. Emmy's hamster. That hamster did not belong to Emmy. Emmy purchased that hamster and uh, <laughs> went home that night, shaved him, and stuck him in his ass. Uh, that's what happened. Uh, let's see what else people are writing about Emmy. Can I get a don't be an Emmy in the chat? Maybe a don't be an Emmy. Shia uh, Punk by Shia LaBeouf. Yes. Shia LaBeouf actually hit Emmy up, listened to his story, and maybe stole some things or actually checked shit out and realized that Backseat Jimmy is lying. Backseat Jimmy is a liar. And that's a, like, see, Jimmy's been trying to get, Convict Shrink talked about this. Uh, Jimmy Calamandra has been trying to get a movie made since the days of Pittsburgh Pookie when he was smoking crack in Pittsburgh. He's been trying to get a movie made. But here's the problem with Emmy's stories it, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up, and the lies got caught. Back rub Emmy, don't be an Emmy. Exactly. We push back always. Check out the We Push Back channel. Uh, True loves those rats get so mad, and they seem to Angel and Marie chat. Yeah, it's very weird. Uh, very weird. Look how many don't be an Emmys we got. Y you know what? You know who was into the snuff films? Oh, I believe Johnny Aletto was heavily into snuff films. Uh, Josie's the one who's going to be doing the book, Mob Tube Chronicles. Uh, please go check out my video earlier. Uh, I shared on Josie's things. Her book's going to be coming out. We will all promote that book. Uh, subscribe. Uh, well, not, oh, just go to Alan Kaiser's Facebook page and hit like. It's called Just. If you're on Facebook, put Justice for Alan Kaiser uh, uh, in the thing. It will come up and hit that like button. Uh, Jimmy, I'll pay Donna. Yes, Jimmy and Donna Summers in the back rubbing scares his arms. Did Scares ever say yes to the back rubs or no to the back rubs? Because Mikey Scares, if you're out there, we you know, the people want to know, did Jimmy Calamandria rub your shoulders while you were driving cars all summer? That's what Emmy uh, claims, but who knows? This is coming from Emmy. Maybe Emmy, maybe Emmy was like sexually attracted to Scares and he could be lying. Who knows? This is part three. No, that's right. They all lie. You can't, can't believe any of these school pigeons. Uh, that's why uh, when it, people say mob history or anything like that, you can't believe uh, you, you can't believe any of that. All the all the stuff that you got comes from like yeah all right you might have some wire taps stuff like that but all other information comes from lion rat stool pigeons filthy rat bastard stool pigeons who try to make themselves look good and they tell lies about people look at matthew madonna right now look at stephen crea terence caldwell londonio they're all in jail because of lies of rat squaw panisi uh evangelista all these scumbags you can't trust rat at history, and that's all you got from these swine. That's all you got from these it's swine. Good. Yeah. Oh, here's Polk. Uh, I guess this is where they talk, where they got the matching John Gotti, well, not matching, but their little John Gotti posters. I think they wanted to, like, start a P.O. Box fan club or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I like my poster better than his. I like my poster better than your your grandma and my grandma sitting by the fire. My grandma said, Yo, I'm a, my ship bum kid comes in naked with the room on fire. I can't sing that song, but if I had a good rhythm, I could have took it well. No. Could have went on away. This is a classic one, though. This is the classic picture. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh, he likes his picture better. Mine's okay. the front cover of the Daily News that I got custom made. He got custom made. How do you have that custom made? Did he go to a did he go to a store and say, hey, can you please custom make me a poster of John Gotti from the news? Well, remember, this clown right here, this deadbeat dad, did a video standing in front of this picture, holding his phone out like a selfie, making the little ducky lips. You know those duck lips the broads make? He was doing the ducky lips, saying I'm a proud Gotti simp and all that. Fast forward three months later, and he's making lies up, trashing the whole family. 
uh, like I said, it's a sickness. It's a stalkiness. It is the Wonder Bread Wop. Oh, it's all good. I, uh, I got that one from Amazon and just bought the free. <laughs> I got that one from Amazon. And just, yeah. This is like little school girls looking at that magazine, 17. Oh, look, the guy from Twilight's cute. It's real sick. Uh, this is when Piggy did have Khufu's pyramid on his head, so we're still at the pyramid level. Uh, it's, wow, that was a big pimple. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, mine was in a frame, but it broke. And... Mine was in a frame, but it broke. Mine has sparkles and streamers on it. Oh, my God. Uh, so, once I knew I was going to be on the show, I'm just paint it up. Yeah. It's in mint condition. Wow, look, look how soft he's been. It's in mint condition. And it's sexual. I love it so. He's actually admitted to masturbating to mafia documentaries, which is very sick and twisted. This is a a 37-year-old man who lives with his grandparents and, like I said, runs in the room naked taking mental fits if he don't have his 25-hour bag of weed. Uh, uh, he Masturbating to John Gotti uh, pictures and documentaries, which is really sick. I'm sorry. I know she's got 17 subs. Okay, this is when uh, we first found Josie right here. This is when I first found her. She had like 17. She put a video up, my thoughts. She didn't know what the hell was going on. She's like, why does this guy sound like Arnold Horshack screaming, attacking this guy, John A. Light? So I did a video on it, and then the next day she came on the show. So this is like the first time uh, people around here have seen Josie and her channel has taken off since. And l little did she know, she jumped into this thing just curious with my thoughts. And now she's writing a whole book on it. So congrats. Um, Good job. She asked if some people will sub and I put, I will help you. True. If you use a laptop, you can start streaming with three subs. But I think she's only using her phone. And if you are on a phone, yes, you do need a thousand subs with a phone. But if you use a laptop computer, you can go live, Josie. And right after this, I had Josie join my secret Nazi movement. And this week, she is actually coming with me to march on Munich. We're not going to go live because when I tried to go live, it said uh, I didn't meet the requirements or something yet. And I'm just leaving it up on it. Said something about reading uh, subscribers, and I did a webcam today for my desktop. And You'll be able to stream with the webcam. The microphone. Anyway, oh, anyway, she is anyway, British. Give me with it would be great. Uh, my email address is Lee dot Josephine. Don't worry, Josie. You shall ask, and I am here for you. Yes, I am. Bring in the dukes and all the lords of England. <laughs> no, I'm here for you, buddy. We're going to share your channel. And get you some more subs, but you need a laptop. As long as you have a laptop, you can stream. It's just, and I'll be the first to admit, when I saw, saw Lee uh, doing this, I, I thought to myself because I already wanted to do it. I thought, oh, so Piggy was inspired by perhaps Paps. Let's see, perhaps he was inspired by Papsky. Is that the truth? So was Paps the first channel out there? And no, I don't know. I think he was. I think Paps was the first one doing this. Piggy was inspired by him. I don't know if Piggy did it before me or not. I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. But uh, I think he's about to say he was inspired by Paps. So Papasaurus Rex was the leading Pap star. So all the other pop stars out there, uh, the Pap star. Let me fucking hop in and do this before... 10 new shows spring up and it just you know it's played and out. he has a capone shirt on so this is the first time we've probably seen piggy with the mafia names on the shirts and he had many more mafia names on shirts until i made fun of him and he stopped let me try to solidify my spot in this whole thing and i started this show um mob rats had his show and even though we do different things. Oh, so I guess maybe I started it before him, but it couldn't be too much before, maybe a week or something. I'm not sure. All three of us. We're grouped together simply because of the time frame. You know what I mean? Uh, not really, Piggy. We were grouped together because we were all on each other's shows, you stupid son of a bitch. Um, because we basically all started around the same time. I know I shouldn't be smoking spare me. Um, Piggy smoking them new pouts. Like fucking Omar, 
but you could never be an Oma, put it that way. There's only one Oma little. That's why people group us together, because we all came out of nowhere around the same time. And we all do different shit. Uh, Mob Rats hates rats. We all know that. Uh, he, 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 he strikes back against them. He exposes them. He does a damn good job of it. He entertains the shit out of all of them. Thank you, Pig. Uh, I've been a fan of Mob Bob Rats exposed since his first video. Well, I thank I you, Piggy. I appreciate that you like my channel so much, and I've taught you vocab uh, verbiage and vocabulary and all kinds of stuff like that. Too bad you didn't go the doxing rat loving route, Piggy. Remember here in his first video. Um, so he does, you know, he does his thing. Uh, Lee started out, you know, his first episode was passion Jenny about the woman and blah blah blah. I'm All right, so I guess Paps was first episode was Paps was you attacking Jimmy for the sexual problems that he has with women? Was it because of uh because we, we all know Jimmy Calamandria as uh has uh problems with women sexually, uh emotionally, many woman problems. And that's why he laws them to motel rooms under false pretenses for sex and takes off his bathrobe. I was actually one of the commenters. I, I, I don't think Lee knows this till this day. <laughs> now Lee does. But I actually used to go by Chris Walter Funny, and, because every other one of, like, Piggy's people in there, they all usually have soprano names, like old wise guy names. I used to be in the comments all the time correcting Lee. I corrected him about the lady. About, you know, Jimmy not shooting the lady and blah, blah, blah. And I would correct it's him. It's not the lady. The lady Julie Shemtov, and RIP to Julie Shemtov. Uh, no, Jimmy didn't shoot her, but Jimmy was beside the guy and Jimmy was making jokes up in the car about the woman being shot, laughing about it, giggling, smoking cocaine, putting Choi in the pipe. Every now and then for about a week and then I started my own. Um, well, Lee does what he does, changes, just like my shit changes. Mob Rats consistent. You know what I mean? Yes, Mob Rats is consistent. But like I said, he's great at what he, he does. We all love Yes, I am great at what I do, making fun of stool pigeons. Um, I always said I, I think his show is the best one uh, on this little mob tube thing. And I don't try to... Uh, well, thank you, Piggy. We all, you and your wife, I was your favorite show. I'm not trying to lump anybody in. I'm not trying to say we are mob tube. Like, it's not a gang. Uh, you know, I don't... A gang. Oh, yeah. we've. <laughs> they tried to make a mafia. Like, Jimmy was their boss... Jimmy was the boss. Piggy was the YouTube street boss. Uh, I don't know the other rankings of the others, but they did have a making ceremony. Uh, I think New Beginnings had it on one of her channels before. Like I said, only reason I say... These uh, thanks for the cash app, Dan. Much appreciated. Shows. And it's not just these three. I am going to buy a cross later and some uh, gasoline. Thank you. Shows. That's the thing. That's what I'm going to get to. But I guess I wasn't really. Oh, here's. Oh, I didn't even know this was on here. There's me in Dirky Castle esque, uh, not out mode. And there's Mob Show Report, uh, formerly known as uh, Uncle Bad Guy. That much aware of that. But he's really not a bad guy. He's just a guy a little bombed, got some arguments, but not a bad person. Oh, yeah. Big time. It's not only. Did you see the video where he had a picture and he said it was this guy, Bobby Borello? And All right. So the same thing with this guy. He popped on the scene. He's like, why is this guy, Mob Rats, attacking Johnny Aletto? Johnny A Rat, Johnny A Liar. Aletto boys take bubble baths, do da, do da, shave their legs, and get punked up their ass all do da day. He was curious why baby Johnny was being attacked. Very curious. So I told him why. And then he went and had a few Jamesons and said that didn't happen and a bunch of crap. And then we just said, hey, no problem. You know what I'm going to do? It really wasn't even the guy, Bobby. It was his brother, Steve. Me. And what I'm talking about right there is uh, Johnny A. Light pulled up a, a picture and said it was him and this guy, Bobby Burriello. But it wasn't the guy, Bobby. It was his uh, his brother, Steven. <laughs> Same video. Oh, so catching Johnny A liar and more what? Yes, Johnny lies. The Raven Knight video. He said that that's Frankie the Chico hugging me and Frankie the Chico. Yes, was. he was saying the Frankie the Chico social club thing, and the guy was dead like two years before that. Dead for two years. So, you know, it's just so, so many things like that. I can go on and on with the A like -Li contradictions oh, and the lies. Look, what you going back to? What <laughs> Did you, you see that? Like nobody's home, nobody's there. 
All right, and this is Piggy and Spanky. Uh, Piggy and Spanky, a very uh, heavy set Keebler elf who is infatuated with Biggie Smalls and Michael Jordan, which is no problem. Cool. And he's infatuated with Gotti. And they're sitting here. Let's see what they're talking about. A minute ago, about how, you know, they won't leave people alone even once they've gone legit and you can't find all right this is them hating on the rats now they love rats this is when they didn't like rats when it was cool to hate rats for the rat squad find anything on them you know they they followed chicky changlini or um john Gotti jr said no he can quote Gotti jr and he, he can quote any of the god he's like he like he loves it look at him looking up in the sky i'm an atheist but god please could i have biggie small's toothbrush Sick weirdo. He is a Keebler. Um, you know, they want you to think that, you know, there's only certain ways. Either either you die, you go to prison for the rest of your life, or they'll welcome you with open arms. That was John Gotti Jr.'s exact This is word. them sticking up for Gotti Jr., but now they will tell you Gotti Jr. is a rat. This is when they loved him. You know, and they'll say you come This is when there was deep, deep Gotti love. Love Shaq, baby, love Shaq. With us, and you know, we'll take care of you. And that's the truth. That's the only that's the only way the government will accept for these guys to leave the life. And One he made a million. comment in that same interview. In all reality, like from what I understand is if some mob guy wanted to walk away from the mob, his friends wouldn't give a shit. You know why? As long as he's not hurting nobody, because they'll take all his rackets and his money. <laughs> People don't care if somebody walks away from the mob. Somebody moves to another state and, and stops dealing with the mob. More money for them. Where he talked about the FBI says you can't leave that life, right? Curtis Sliwa always said that. You can't Curtis Sliwa is a scumbag liar who makes fake hate crimes. Curtis Sliwa sprays swastikas on his buildings and says skinheads did it. And fake skinheads beating him up and Really, it's his buddies hitting him with a fucking bat. You go, like, you go 10, uh, six feet on there in a palm box or go to jail. That's the only op option. And that's fair. In in the 50s and 60s and 70s, like, I get that. Um, but I think a lot of the, the histrionics that the FBI uses. No, he's in histrionics and mathematics and quadrisics. Shut the fuck up. Just movies and hearsay. And, and you can't leave the life. Can you leave the life? A lot of people like Mob Rats Exposed is totally right. That's exactly what I'm Mob Rats Exposed is totally right. Would you like to come in my tree and make cookies with me? Would you like to march down the yellow brick road with me? Wow. If you want to go to jail, don't do the crime. That's right. You if you don't do the crime, you don't want to do the time, don't do the crime. Very easy. But if you want to be a criminal, live in that world, be one, and don't tell on people. Find a way to do something else and, and make a proper life. <clears throat> so, you know, we have to stop acting like, you know, if you want to do it, don't do the crime, right? Yeah, absolutely. MRE says it best. I'm going to play what MRE says, and we can take it from there. I wonder when this is right here. Hmm, let me see. I can't see the date, but I don't know. So MRE is talking about FBS and the Tony Pizza beef. Okay. Yeah, amen to that. It is that simple. Where did he put that? It is that simple. Exactly. It's that simple. If you don't want to be in jail, don't do crimes. But if you're going to do crimes with a bunch of people or anybody, don't tell on nobody. Go to jail and, you know, face the consequences for what you did. Don't sell nobody out. And like I said, if you don't want to go to jail, just be, don't, don't do no trouble. Don't get in no trouble. He helped build this channel. He shouldn't have did that. He should have just ignored the idiot. Ignored him. Just ignore the guy. All right. So evidently, I'm giving Piggy advice to ignore pizza at the time. I'm saying ignore pizza and pizza will go away. Or I'm telling him to ignore the New Beginnings channel. And at this time, I'm not sure if I knew NB was who they were or not. I thought they were just trolls. Or maybe I did know who it was. I forget. I found out like a month later that it was really them uh, doing these trolls. And they were making fun of me, too. They were making fun of everybody, doing videos with me with poodles on me. They were making fun of Carlos for simp stuff. They were making fun of everybody, uh, Paps. They were putting uh, little bonnets on Paps and everything. 
But Piggy gave them, a, like like I said, Piggy gave it attention. Piggy cried too much about it, which helped the channel grow. And don't get me wrong, the content and the stuff and be put together uh, of Piggy's own words was good. But if Piggy didn't acknowledge it, if Piggy didn't care, it, it would have. they would have got bored and it would have wanted something else. Act like he doesn't even exist. They'll get bored and they'll go on to somebody else. That was huge with this day. Uh, remember, folks, hit that like button. Hit that like button, or I'm going to send that Keebler elf spanky to your house to repossess the Keebler elf fucking cookies. You don't want those cookies coming out of your cabinet with spanky there, because spanky go right through the cabinet. Not only that, here's why. When you invite people to come fight you, and you go meet people, and you're doing videos, walking around meeting <laughs> people. Listen to the irony of this one. Well, guess what? Not only that guy's going to do it, other trolls are going to start doing that. Exactly. And that uh, pertains to me uh last week given that uh defending myself against that weirdo <clears throat> i won't bite no more with trolls trying to uh or anybody trying to get me to come meet them or nothing but that's uh weirdo was stalking me and he got what he deserved so take it back to harambe harambe rape whistle you sick puppy you and that fat cow tilikum that fat ham beast tilikum so you better slap tilikum on the back of the ass and ride that wave all the way to granny to her grandmother's and eat some mad got you fucking clown ripper and then people are gonna be like well why aren't you going to meet this guy why that guy so it's just that's an area that you never want to get into no you never do but i made i broke my own rules and i got pissed that some creep was uh stalking me and you know shit happens it's literally one of the dumbest, stupidest things you can do. It's a backfire. It will never work. Irony here. In your favor. It's going to come back to bite you in the ass because people see that you can be moved like that. And other trolls and other people are going to want to build their YouTube channel. Very true. Like right, calling you out and wanting to come meet you. And then when you don't do the same thing. And if that guy wasn't such a little fucking Nancy and a little fairy, uh, maybe he could have did just what I said he did. But he's brain dead. You did with those guys. You're going to be called this and that. It's just a bad, bad tactical error. And I am speaking about the Piggy and Tony pizza beef. Now, we all know that pizza wiped the floor with Piggy. Now, I know there's a lot of people who don't like pizza, but this is the honest truth. Pizza wiped the floor with Piggy on every live debate, every shout and match. Pizza wiped the floor with Piggy. Pizza had the bants, the one-liners. Piggy was stuttering. Piggy crying, he's all up in the chaff, crying, ass in the air. Pizza whooped him on all that stuff. And then P Piggy ended up paying Pizza to like give him a couple of hundred. I think Piggy gave him a hundred. Calamandria gave him a hundred. They all gave him a hundred. Uh, and then the doxing started. And Piggy started that by putting Pizza's mother up there, Pizza's mother's name, Pizza went nuts. He went totally, total our beats. He went Tony our beats on his ass and started calling the mom and shit, which is wrong on both sides. But hey, listen, listen, when someone puts your family up, what are you going to do? Pizza's crazy anyways. He lost his mind and went for blood. Exactly. And pizza got the best. Pizza won that war. Piggy helped pizza build his channel. Uh, and he gave pizza money. Pizza like bullied Piggy into money. And made Piggy call the cops. Piggy got so scared, he called the cops on pizza twice. Can we get an amen from Jimmy Calamandria? Yes, we can. Oh, looks like that's dying. There we go. Call the cops! 100%. Not only that, it's just it's not smart. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know everything. He makes a lot of mistakes with these trolls. He, he makes a lot of mistakes with the trolls. For one, he thinks that... This video that I'm doing right now comes from uh, New Beginnings. And that is true, too. Uh, Piganacious, uh, Pigtilius, Pigtilius the Younger will look at his chat, and if they say, Paps just built a spaceship and he's going to fly it into your house at uh, 9 p.m., Pignatius will believe that. Pigtilius will believe that and jump up in all righteous indignation and start, like, biting his arm. Who's been going after uh, FPS for a long time? To this day, he still thinks I have something to do with this page, which I have nothing to do. With. No, well, Paps did have nothing to do with that page. That's true. He had nothing to do with it. But this is how easy to control the, the trolls can control situations. 
is and controls can control the situation. It's been very easy for them to control. Jimmy the Helmet likes masturbation. Hotel rooms, luring women there, not to fear. But Jimmy doesn't care. He comes out with no underwear. <laughs> Jimmy, you're a sick guy. This is what MRE's saying. He's been saying this for the longest time, and the FBS has been ignoring him. He's been warning him about these trolls. Yes, I've warned Piggy many times. Uncle MRE tried to school little Pignatius. I tried to school little Pignatius and tell him, Piglet, chill, stop, stop responding and crying every show about it because they're going to keep doing it. And Piggy Wiggy Wiggy what? Piggy Wiggy Wiggy who? Didn't want to listen to Uncle MRA. How they get onto things and how they can make you think things. And to this day, he still thinks I am part of this New Beginnings page. I like New Beginnings because they report on stuff that other people don't have no balls to say. And on top of that, I hope they grow and I hope they get monetized. And I think that people... As That's me, right, just chilling. Uh, Dad, it wasn't there because Dad didn't care. He put on the Nikes and screwed out of the house and left the kids all alone. Terrible, terrible, terrible. People like this to keep us in check, our shows in check. And this, this, and this new beginnings, they came after me hard in the very beginning. Yes, they came after everybody. They were making videos of me with pink poodles with barrettes in my hair and me dancing with little purple and pink poodles. They were making fun of everybody. But Piggy's ego could not deal with it. Mr. Potato Head could not deal with it. But then when they see that all these channels were ganging up on me, it kind of took my side. But that was... In, in and I believe that is true. I don't know for a fact, but I think I remember NB saying that they felt bad for Paps because everybody was picking on Paps. And maybe it was a little bit of like, you know, a little elderly love, elderly love, like feeling bad and uh, came to Paps, uh, Paps Rescue. Uh, I guess the Sixth Legion came in to help Papski and Skippa and be a legate on Paps' army. But as easy as they took my side, they could turn on me tomorrow. It's that simple. Paps, like, they could turn on me tomorrow. It's that simple. Open build their channel. Pulse that's not good. And fighting with that idiot, the pizza dude. It's like this guy said the most vilest things. That's right. Pizza said the most, and well, so did I. But after I was uh, given no other uh, opportunity, he hammered all the women uh, that I care about on YouTube and uh, in real life. So what was I supposed to do? I had to put the bars on urine head on blast. Like just ignore. And that's what Pizza did. You went after Pizza's mom, and Pizza defended himself. You know, I'm not saying two wrongs don't make a right. I get that. You know what I mean? But what are you supposed to do until it happens to you and your family's up there? Uh, Pig's interaction was two empty whiskey bottles. Thanks, James Jameson. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see what a few people say for Emery laughed at those videos made about Piggy went crazy. Oh, the listen, my, the Piggy files I made. If you've seen Piggy that went live after I made the Piggy files, he was Gabba Piggy that night. Piggy goes into the phone booth like, like Clark Kent. Clark Kent comes out as Superman. He comes out as Gabba Piggy. When he went live, he had soot on the edge of his lips. It was all white soot. He looked like he was higher than a helicopter. Forget about it. Higher than a he helicopter. Uh, by fighting with him, you build his channel. It's just, uh, just don't even give them people nothing. And, and, and it will die out. He'll go on to somebody else. That's advice for troll channels, and it stands to this day. If somebody makes a, a troll channel busting your balls, if you ignore them, they will go on to somebody else. But if you talk about them and cry about them, they will expand, and they will build channels off of yours. That's all. Awesome. Seen it happen yeah, many exa times. Exactly. Exactly. All right. This is me and uh, Common Simp, uh, who home invades old people's houses. <laughs> Common Simp invades old women's home and old men's homes. He went into an old couple's house and he went in there to like be a homie G to rob the joint like a like a Malibu's most wanted. But when he got inside, he was like locked out. And he started acting like he was crazy and nobody loved him. And he was banging on the windows, yelling uh, all crazy stuff. And the old people got really scared, called the cops, and he got arrested.
And I'm glad that there's channels like yours that are at least calling these guys out. They said they all loved me in the beginning, folks. Have you seen him and Jimmy the Helmet's interview where he's like, uh, Jimmy's like, we bought you a champagne bottle. We are, we are both talking about Sammy the Bull and Jimmy Calandra's sleepover party, the pizza party they had where they were playing Twister all night and leather. Uh, Jimmy paid three grand to sleep over Sammy's house. Uh, three, four, or five, something like that. I, I heard it was three grand, then I heard it was four grand, then I heard it was five grand. Who knows? We just know backseat Emmy, Emmy Calamandria slept over his house for a week, and Schmeagle gave him a 15 minute video, and the video was titled Sammy the Bull Shakes Down Emmy Harvey the Helmet Calamandria. And he called him Calamandria. That's why we call him that. I don't remember that. Then a few minutes later, he's like, oh, yeah, the champagne bottle. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's it. He's like, oh, yeah, that's right, the champagne bottle. Because Jimmy's like, remember me and Tommy Kawaii get a champagne bottle. Whoever's coming here, drop in the uh, – block that guy, J-Rock, go white, whatever, W. Block that clown. Don't come in here dropping people's cash apps. I'm not a hooah. Don't come in here and treat me like a whore. Don't drop people's cash apps. Anybody comes in dropping a cash app besides Josie's or mine, boot them out. Boot them the fuck out. It was to- he was totally just making an ass out of the helmet. Boot them out. It was so. Oh, it wasn't a headline or something. He shakes down the helmet. Or yeah, something. common simp's right. It was that. That was the title. Like that. Yeah, it was. He yeah, was like, so- laughing about it. He probably he probably paid him. Yeah, he did pay him. Common Simp's dead right on that. He did pay him. Yes. That was paid. Listen, you're not going to sleep over Sammy Gravano. You're not having a Schmeagel sleepover for free, okay? That's not happening. And we know how A-Light worked with him. A-Light had to pay to play, meaning for him to stick up for him. So he definitely... Yeah. And what I mean by play to play, like I just said, John A-Light paid Sammy Gravani. Gravani, uh, Schmigo Gravano for that uh, 3K clout shout out. I hate him to go sleep over his house. 100%. I wonder how much he charged him a night. <laughs> Common says, Common says, I wonder how much he charged him a night. That's funny. Uh, what part of Ireland are you from, MRE? I'm from the part where the clovers are from. I'm not from Ireland, you dizzy fucking nut. What's that? What's that? Uh, who's that lady on there? She looks familiar. I'm not from Ireland. My mother's people are. My mother's people are from Ireland. They're from Derry City, Northern Ireland. My mother's father. <laughs> my, my Italian family is from Pani Forge, a region of Apulia. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder if pin the tail on the donkey costed anything extra. Uh, yeah, it was more like uh, pin the dildo in the jimmy. Them playing Twister. Yeah. Oh, Nate, they have some naked fucking twister or something. Why? Imagine. Ah, he said naked twister. There's some weird shit was going on. With all these guys, Aloy and the guy Jimmy. Imagine paying Schmeagel money to lie. For, well, Jimmy didn't pay him to lie for him. He just paid to hang out with him. Aloy legitimately paid him to lie for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, Octavia, so is my brother. So what do you like, Octavia? Would you like to eat some Lucky Charms together? Would you like to sit down next to me and eat some Lucky Charms? How about this? How about I grab the back of your head, Octavia, and I fucking drown you in the Lucky Charms bowl? How about that, Octavia? I'm joking, you dumb bitch. Relax. Pretty demented. Set me a, uh, a note. That's uh, right. That was Helen Hunt. Message. That's and right. This is Helen what it's Hunt. all about. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Angel Gotti was being attacked by horrible uh, uh, Instagram pages. She was being called every name in the book. I mean, her daughter was being attacked. Uh, her children, her her husband passed away. Was being this is uh, called Facts with Paps right here. This is the Facts with Paps edition. Viciously attacked. Uh, just chilling. I like Lucky Charms also. And Octavia would be the perfect person to drown in a bowl of Lucky Charms. Those pages are down now. And they're going to stay down. No, they were put back up, actually, by Borello and Gay C. Those are the same pages that 
uh, uh, Angel Gotti and a few other people who were blamed at putting up, but no, they were up for a long time. Those are the same pages that put FBS's, uh, put Piggy's stepson up there. The, uh, the same people who put Piggy's stepson were putting Stars of David on my head uh, and Tanya's head. So that's just all the same stuff. This is episode four. We are now stepping into episode four of Mob Tube Novella series by Kane Shades. Please check out the Kane Shades channel. It's in the description. Uh, you better sub or I'm going to drown Octavia in a bowl of cereal. Once again, I know yeah, my brothers. Okay, they live in Derry. That's nice. That's wonderful. Backseat M.A. L look at that. That's classic, that Jimmy picture, man. Jimmy will ever be known. This shit came from J.C. When J.C. from the West Coast. When all this shit was going on. And it's ironic how J.C. all of a sudden is fucking quiet as a fucking church mouse, right? All of a sudden he's cool with Hootie. So both See, Stax is laying out what Gay C is. Gay C, like I said... Is a hooker at Hunt's Point, December 24th, freezing her ass off. And whoever, whoever opens the door, whoever opens the door, JC will jump in that Buick and he will let that old man ream his ass till next Wednesday. Uh, Mickey Bat says, Common sense. Bell, you fucking coward. You nip tuck <laughs> from the blur. <laughs> Judge, while you invade a 17 year on year old's home. Junkie, mutt, machine guns, home invasion, no time. That's right. Harambe shot a machine gun in the air, did no time. Well, Harambe just got exposed as a stool pigeon, but we all knew Harambe was a filthy stool pigeon. But now at least it's up there. Uh, people were exposing it months ago, but nobody caught on to it. But yes, Harambe, uh, obviously we all know he must have put many Cuban dudes away for cocaine without a doubt. That 74-year-old who was allegedly throwing common sense around his house. Yeah, well, I guess they were tossing him around. And he was acting like he was he was pulling a piggy. He was going, I'm crazy. I need help. I'm crazy. And he was like smashing the windows, trying to get out. Like, I love my mommy and saying all weird things. Uh, very crazy. I guess he thought, Harry, hey, I'm caught now. Let me play the coward cry baby and act like I, I went into the wrong house. I went into the wrong house. Uh, maybe I won't get charged as bad. Like, no, you're getting that charge no matter what. So acting like a pure coward in there and a little bitch. You should just walked out of the house and left the people alone, not pulled a little cry baby. And I heard they caught him sleeping on the side of the bed. He was like laying on the side of the bed when the cops came in, like shriveled up in a ball, shaking or something. Wait, it, bro. How many times am I cursed? You're, you're losing it. I could be a fat troll, but you're losing it. <laughs> this is the beef that Paps and Stax had. I don't know what it was over. I'm broken. Uh, hey, good night, Johnny Downneck. I can't see the chat 24-7, so if I miss anybody's comments, don't hold it against me. Or if you do, I'm going to drown Octavia in a bowl of cereal. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and fuck you, Lee. <laughs> 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 Looks like him and Paps had a good go at it. Wow. These trolls, these pages, they chat. Ah, there's my boy, Cheech. Look, never shine light on the trolls. Gunpoke is chilling there. Looking for his weed. Yeah, I don't know how many months ago this is, though. Panels and hate like on eight. Us. If they're not there, then we are fucking up. We got to change what we're doing. Well, that's, well, I don't know what he's trying to say. Uh, if the trolls ain't there, then we're doing something wrong. No, you're doing something wrong when you give the troll, when you feed them. It's an old saying, don't feed the trolls, and it's, tr it's true. Don't feed them because you build their channels, and look what happens. Because people only do that stuff out of... And this is where the pimple was turning purple. Khufu's pyramid was turning purple back then. This is when the pimple was really jumping off because at one time, the pimple split. It split like an atom. 
it's split into three. You remember when his pimples split like a fucking atom and split in three? This is before the pimples split. It became purple. And as it split, then it all three became red again. And then he had them surgically removed. Jealous. Now, Gunpoke's trying to be quiet because he doesn't want to wake Grammy up and have to run in there naked and jump on Grammy's bed to in the morning naked. I need weed money. I need my money for my weed. But what about your children, Gunpoke? There, they got a mother. And a, their mother takes care of them. I need my pot. And anger and bitterness. Um, so it just tells, you know, it just goes to show that that you're doing well. If you weren't doing well, they wouldn't be bothered. Not true, Piggy. I, if if you were doing well, uh, you wouldn't even mention them, and you wouldn't have became a doxing little stool pigeon on here. And the Tony Pizza stuff is coming up, I believe, in this one or the next one where Piggy goes full cop. That's when Piggy goes straight full. <laughs> Call the cops. I thought about that too. That's right. It's true. Because I thought about that too. And it's fine. It's fine. This kid just will go along with it. this kid is the biggest gimp cheerleader you'll ever find. If you look in the dictionary under the definition of gimp, there's him in a leather suit with a piece of plastic protruding out of his ass and a ball gag. I was nobody just making these videos. Nobody knew my name or nothing. I had a couple. Nobody still knows your name, you sweet little slut. On your subs, nobody said shit. Yeah, they, you, don't, you don't see anybody making a troll page against the channel that has 40 subscribers. Yeah, exactly. It what happens that out of all these new shows, I have Listen. most. Not anymore, Piggy. Piggly Wiggly, Piggy Wiggy Wiggy Wah, Piggy Wiggy Wiggy Who. Piggy Smalls, not anymore. Piggy's been buying subs lately. It took Piggy, what, nine weeks? Uh, he was like at 494, almost hit five. It took him like five weeks to hit five Gs. Paps blew by him. Papsky uh, was literally roads of thunder and blew right by him, blew by him. My channel even blew by him until he bought subs. I only get like 10 a week. Yeah, and it bothers the shit out of me. It really does. Why does it? No, no one was bothered by your channel. Wow. See, this is where the, see how I said it was splitting off? Can you see the pimple merging? The pimple was splitting off into three. So before the, the pimple splits, it sort of forms together in a little land mass. It's weird. It angers them, especially people who watch my numbers. It angers them a lot. Um, so, uh, sorry, I, I don't know what to tell That's you. That's pure projection. That means it angers you when other people's channels pass you. Because once all the channels started catching up to Piggy, Piggy started putting on, oh, I don't care about all that. That's no big deal. When that's what he cared about deeply. Yeah, but I'm not going to fail for you. Um, I don't have to get worse. You have to get better. And you're you did get worse, Piggy. Threatening women's lives, putting up social security numbers, uh, putting up people's mothers, pizza's mother, uh, threatening women's lives, uh, lying about their children, the whole nine, Piggy. You broke every code, everything you said you stood for around here. You are the biggest joke and laughing stock. It doesn't matter that you got 25 people in your little echo chamber. They're all, every one of those people are all woman beaters. Uh, Piggy's never beat a woman physically that I know of. And I don't think he's a physical type of beater. I think he puts mental abuse on the bars. Gunpoke, on the other hand, I don't know if he's beat a woman, but I know he's he's jumped on his grandmother's back naked and jumped on the bed naked. But all the other guys that surround them are all woman beaters. Common Gimp's a woman beater. Harambe's a ripper. Uh, Gacy's a woman beater. Uh, there's a few other woman beaters around them. You know what I mean? Then you'll, you'll have better numbers. That's all I can say. You're not going to gain better numbers by trying to take me. Wow, it's like we're, look, we're watching Aristotle and Plato talk around here. Wow, these two are two fucking dopes. Down and in. Uh, yeah. The only way shows are going to grow and get better is if they work hard. That's true, Piggy, and that's what you stop doing. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I don't know. If this kid is sitting on a bicycle seat or what's going on. I mean, uh, this is kids. The, oh, we all found he's the ultimate phone sex boy. He loves like phone sex and phone web sex and all this stuff. He's a sick boy. Uh, yeah, how you doing? All right. This is where uh, Piggy sandbagged the Keebler elf Spanky. 
Spanky kill, uh, King Keebs over here. And Paps comes on and attacks. You guys remember when this happened? When he attacks Keebs? And Piggy's got this, like, awkward, I just stabbed you in the back smile on his face. Like, he knows that the boss just made three grilled cheeses and has got some gab repentance ready. He's happy. He wants some views and super chats. What's happening? How you doing? Look how, like, Keebs is, the Keebs, Spanky is not happy. Killer Keebs is not happy right here. He's just not happy he got sandbagged. What's up? Look at the awkwardness. Stop. Stop. Uh-oh. He froze a little bit. He froze. Frozen Paps. Frozen in time. In land far away, we have Paps. That's not good. Get him. Uh, let me see what James says right here. Uh, time Piggy walks. Danny DeVito. <laughs> the, pig wa- the pig walks like Danny DeVito and the penguin. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Here comes Fryer Tuck. <laughs> Fryer Fry. Ever see the degenerate sex game they played on there one night? Oh my god. Oh, that was weird. It was real weird. Some degenerate sexual game. Oh shit, I like frozen. Wow, look at that awkward, bashful smile on Keebs. Oh no. no you were talking about yours tonight, Lee. What the fuck happened? Why is he frozen? Kick him out. He'll come back in. Oh, there you are. All right. Paps is unfrozen. Let's see what happens. And there's Piggy with the jack o' lantern ridging teeth like he's been chewing on fucking coffins and nails. But... Jeff, did you pull Jeff, did you, did you pull a wire out down there or something? No, I didn't do anything. Did you I just connect with Jeff? Okay. No. Kinky Keebs don't know what's going down. Kinky Keebs. And how did Kinky Keebs get that precision pot? It did look like a Lego. You remember how you put hair on Legos? That's why everybody thought that Keebs, Kinky Keebs, had a wig. Everybody thought Spanky, a.k.a. Kinky Keebs, had a wig. But it wasn't a wig. Keebs had no wig. You see this happy smile on my face? That's the first time. And Pap's channel. Pap's gets more live viewers then kinky little keebs, then Spanky, because Spanky may have like 20,000 subs, uh, 90% of them bought, but Paps gets more live viewers than kinky little keebs or Piggy. Happy smile I've had in uh, like three weeks. I'm glad for you, Lee. I think okay. you smile more. And you know, you can, you can question what you want, Jeff. And I'm not going to question anything. I'll take everything, out, everything to your face. Okay. This is goofy behavior okay. and you know it. All right. But you are all right. You're saying Paps is involved with goofy behavior, and I believe I know what you're saying. It was goofy behavior, but you are doing the same thing, much worse than Paps ever did. You're doing the same shit because you are a hack. You used to play the whole role that you know. I'm just just want my channel. I just care about my channel. I don't get into the slander or into the filthy stuff. But you joined Team Docs and all that stuff too. You joined all the filth. You're a hack. You are a hack. You kissed Borello's ass, Stiletto's ass, all the rats' asses. Anybody with one of these stupid mafia channels will always suck off a stool pigeon. Remember that. They will drop to their knees, knee pads or not. They will go straight without knee pads and drop to their knees to blow these stool pigeons to get on their show. We're mafia historians. Wiggle, wiggle. Fucking weirdos. No, it's not good. Yeah, yeah. do, you, do, you know do you know what Gene Borello did to them? Listen, I'm aware, and I said both sides are goofy. It's all goofy. But do, but do you know what he did to that? Do you, I don't remember what he. I don't know what they're talking about right here. Let's see. You know what he yes, did to that? Today, it's what nutty behavior. Do? Yes, he took down his pages, the ones that were torturing Angel, the ones that were talking about. Yeah, I think they were down for like a week, I believe. Uh, and, I, and he should. It's all okay, and, behavior. Maybe. And then the pedophile. Hey, I'm not putting up pages like that. You should. I, you no, seriously, Jeff. What is the real reason you're upset about this? Because it's goofy. Because it's goofy. It's all goofy. I just want to sit up in my tree and bake cookies. Cookies. Fucking spanky. Why don't you go behind the uh thing and tell Stymie and fucking Buckwheat to chill the fuck out? Put the guns down. Behavior, Lee. 
It's fucking stupid. It makes no fucking so, sense. So you're it, uh, all right, but what about what sense does it make you helping them attack all the women and docs? Keebs, kinky keebs, you little keebler elf spanky. You're calling me stupid, you're calling Casparosa stupid. Yes, yes, that's exactly oh. what we're doing. Wow, he was, yes, yes. Ooh, you were hissing like a fucking snake there, keebs. Okay. Well, well Jeff, I hate to break Jeff. Keebs is almost stroking out over here. Keebs is going nuts before Keebs goes nuts. But first, coffee. I hate to break the. And look at Piggy's loving it. Piggy's face is right in the camera. Piggy is fucking loving it. He's loving every minute of it. News to you, but you're not as well liked as you think. I don't give a fuck. That's the thing. Okay. I don't care okay. if you like me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look at, but you look angry, dude. Why do you look so angry? You need because a hug. I, this, this, uh -huh. Pap said he needed a hug. Yeah, I'll give one thing. Paps may be an old, crazy, rabid dog like old Yella, but Paps annihilates these guys on stream, just like pizza does. They annihilate these dudes on stream and dance. Don't co-sign this shit. It's fucking... But you co-sign what these people do, that now Piggy and company doxing people's mothers, doxing people in the chat, uh, rape whistle and rest, stalking people, trying to get uh, people's license plates, their children's license plate. You co-sign all of that. So how dare you yell at Paps for fighting with uh, whoever Paps was fighting with? Elementary Minnie Mouse bullshit, Lee, and you know it. All the oh, oh. co-signs. A light, Borello, you, all you guys. It's all fucking. A light, Borello, you, and you, and who? Say, say, Gotti. Finish it off. Say, Gotti. Yes. And this is back when uh, he was on, he loved John Gotti with Piggy. They would hold hands and sing Ring Around the Rosy Pocket Full of Posy. We love John Gotti. If, 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 you know what? They don't say do it. That. So we know where you're at. Let me say one thing. From the beginning, I have never wavered on where I am. I don't like eat. Both sides are nuts. No, uh, you did waver. You became a total hack and joined Team Piggy with the docs in and co-signed all that. You went on a show uh, talking sexual about grandmothers and people's mothers. What was it? F, uh, have, uh, I don't know what it was called. F, kill, or marry, or something weird. Where they're talking about sleeping and screwing grandmothers talking you're you're just a degenerate friggin lefty that's all you are and i don't mean the junkie i mean the leftist angel's a very nice person see so back then everybody loved her everybody loved angel. angel's the best they love her. now she's the meanest person in the world i told her that she knows that i hold no punches lee i hate to tell you you i think you're a pretty nice guy but i think you get in too many What's the goal with all this? Why are you all doing <laughs> You know what? Why, why don't is you God do he No, why is wait a minute. Ball Sicilian, Ball Sicilian just said it best. He said... He really didn't say nothing. Piggy's just sitting back, uh, whacked out on Gabapentin. Look, that's Gabba Piggy right there, chilling on Gab Gabapentins. There's more to come. So maybe what you should do instead of... What's more to come, Lee? I mean, just yeah. why don't you just say it? Why is it always... It's always a fucking production with everybody. What's more to come? Look at this crew. I am Carlos Munoz Ranch. Why is it if you say something about Angel, your comment gets blocked? She's not much special than the rest. I don't know if they're talking to Paps or what, but we have uh, Craps back here. I don't know what the hell this guy put up on the screen. So let's see what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. So, uh, your comment gets blocked. She's not no more special than the rest of us. She has a famous father. Well, because it's a disrespect. Well, because uh, to Piggy and company, if you come out, if they, they'll get close, they want to get close to anybody with a gangster name, anything like that. It's called uh, a wise guy hump or a mob groupie. You take your pick. You take your pick. Respecting toward a woman. And um, if you're going to disrespect her, just go on. Well, Paps has got a point there. If you're going to come in saying sexual degenerate shit uh, about the lady, he's going to block you. Twitter and writer. I mean, maybe she'll answer you. You know, we're not, I'm not here to bash women. 
Yeah, yeah. Here's a clue to all of you guys. But he is. But Gacy is. <laughs> Gacy also bashed his woman, and I mean literally in the face. Uh, this guy is a woman beater. He could not see his child without four adults in the room watching. This is the guy who said he was an LCN member. He knows Mexican cartels. Very weird. Do not argue with women in general, but especially... Wow, look at the advice Gacy has given. This guy flips and flops like a fucking pancake. Women that have a, a name that's well known. Not a smart idea. But also, just leave women out of it. Just, just don't, yeah. just don't go after them. It's ah, and I have, I'm at 136. Look at, look at Pulse Smoke's old avatar. Look, he's giving the kissy ducky face that the girls do in the selfies. Whenever you see a man giving the ducky lips and the kissy face and selfies, I bet you ten to one he takes it up the rear. Pulse, 136. False. FBS Jimmy Calandra, do you hear that? 136. All right, this is when they doxed Paps's uh, cell phone, and I believe Gunpoke got yelled at by Piggy for being on this show. False. People, please, this is what you call doxing people. Yeah, hold on. I wanted to put that up. That is true. Uh, JC beat up your daughter a little bit, beat up. Hey, <laughs> Gacy, the punk ass lame. He is. Yes, yeah, Sniper's on the roof. Gacy actually said, I forget who he was talking about. I don't know if it was Tony Pizza or Chicago Muscle. He was telling them, uh, if someone, if you come by my house to fight me, I will have a sniper on the roof to take you out. Like, dude, what movies do you watch? Uh, Kane Shade, this is his channel. I'm streaming off his uh channel link is in the description. And what you should do, please get a hold of YouTube. Please let them know what happened here tonight because this is treacherous. With you game. can't get a hold of YouTube, Paps, in case you got 10 hundred thousand million subs. That's the only way. Now, you can go on Twitter with the Pacific if you have the video of. Piggy giving socials out or threatening women's lives, a gay C threatening to kill women. Uh, you can tag them in that and you might get lucky. They put people's lives in danger. I have people calling me threatening to come to my home. That's how yeah. bad this is, people. Wow. Okay. I'm the only accident now, here. Because okay, yeah. They talk about Shocker's attack. You're fucking fraud. You're a kidnapper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's talk about how I kidnap your mother. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep on going. Okay. Keep on going. Technically, Paps did not really kidnap the woman. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep talking. Can you keep talking, please? You should be shot in the face. Okay. Oh, yeah. shot. What else? Keep on going. This guy's awesome. Okay, I like you, man. You're like, me and you are going to become best friends. Okay. Dude, okay. Keep on going. Damn, this dude's boring. Keep on going. What are you going to do to me? This is somebody, I guess, threatening to shoot Paps in the eyes and blow his head off or something. Then why are you calling me? Uh, he just said he would shoot Paps. Now he's not going to shoot Paps. Hey, I don't do okay. I, damn, you Come on. If you're going to talk tough, you got to tell me what you're going to do. Oh, we don't do nothing. We don't do nothing. We don't do nothing. Oh, uh, Donald, you never seen this? This is from a long time ago. See, a lot of people haven't seen this stuff. That's why you got to check out the novellas. Uh, I'll play up to five tonight, and then uh, next week I'll play more. No, that's not common simp on the phone. Okay, Ex explain to me what should happen to me. What should happen to me? Yes. Okay, what else? Okay. Whoever this guy is, like, sever your head, kill paps for what? What? Okay, keep okay. on it. And what else should happen to me? Okay. I got enough for you, dude. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. Dude, thank you. <laughs> 
Seven your motherfucking head. I know. We ne- we've never heard that. <laughs> Did you hear okay. Gunpoke? He's- Gunpoke was getting some like uh Gotti, uh John Gotti flashbacks and of all the recordings he's listened to the Gotti Wyatt tapes, like sever your head off. He was trying to do the impressions with the ducky face. Oh my god. Excuse me of something that, the ducky that no charges happened. You guys know the story behind that. I got yeah. a video Okay. So what else? What was your dad? Was he a Republican, Democrat? What? Listen. My dad, um, um, he was neither. He thought... This is the episode, I believe, like, uh, this is after Piggy's pimple surgery, when he had the pimple cut off because he's got a bandage over his head. And he's asking her, what kind of orange juice did your dad like? What kind of cereal did he like? What was his favorite pancakes, blueberry or chocolate chip? Uh, and I think he asked us about the cologne, and the boss went out and bought him the cologne. He thought that this government was the biggest, um, was was the biggest organized crime syndicate on the planet. <laughs> well, he's right. Well, exactly. So he yeah. didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't care too much for the government. He didn't believe that one man run, ran the country anyway. Yeah, well, he doesn't. It's bottom line. And that's how, how he felt. He felt that there's just one man that stands out there for the, you know, for the, uh, how did he used to say it? Like the, like the one, one man is just a puppet for the whole group. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, doubt. so he uh, he didn't have very nice things to say. And you know what? More and more I'm seeing it every day, what he was talking about. That's right, Steve. Yep, now more than ever. Exactly. The, last, uh, the last, I don't know, I'd say since, I don't know, maybe around 2008, uh, things have been crazy ever since. So basically, Piggy's trying to purity spiral to Republicans to act like a Republican. When Piggy vote, he's just since 2008. That's when Obama was elected. Uh, Barry Sinclair. That's when Barry Cerrito was elected, who Piggy voted for. But Piggy, because most of his chat, he believed were Republicans. He's going to try to act like he was a Trump guy, and really he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I never followed politics before. I really never got into it, and. Uh... And maybe the past few years I started getting really into it. But then, and then, you know, then I just said, you know what? He was right. My father was right. This is the FBI gets away with so much. And, and, and I, yes, I remember that, I, Del. That's when, uh, Piggy was on the phone with, I believe, I think he had Angel on one line and Jimmy on the next line. And they said, we made it. He looked at his wife. And he's like, we've made it. We've got Jimmy Calandra on one line and Angel Gorty on the other. We've made it. I truly feel that they are the most corrupt organization in anything. The FBI is corrupt. That's true. The FBI are corrupt pigs. I agree. They're a corrupt, woke bunch of pigs. Um, well, we've seen so many examples of that. Exactly. Have a good Thursday. Ah, here's the helmet back at that apartment or a bedroom somewhere. Because remember, the helmet was couch surfing USA. Remember, he was a uh, couch surfing USA for many years when he was Pittsburgh Pookie smoking coke, living on couches until somebody threw him that basement apartment and let him live in the basement like Bubs. He was like Bubbles from the wire living in the basement. I hope you enjoyed this. You know, that's another strike. I hope you enjoyed it. What did he just say? I hope you enjoyed this. The Gotties. I mean, that's a couple videos in a row. Yeah, that's V Dial Sassoon when he was V Dial Sassoon. That Jimmy has done that. It kind of took me uh, by surprise that he did it again. You know, Jimmy's done a lot worse since then. Let's Jimmy goes, finish the dub about this is when Jimmy went full retard. Never go full retard, Emmy. It's like he's defying what his friends don't be a Jimmy. They're saying he's defying what Paul Sicilian's saying. 
I mean, and he just doesn't care. You know, he's at the point where he's saying what he yes, feels. Yes, helmet and pre now green people, screen. Whether they want to believe him or not. And remember, when the helmet first got his green screen, he thought you were just to put a green screen behind you. So the first like seven streams was just a green screen behind him because that's what he was thought you were supposed to do. He's the helmet. Should I just lost it? Come on. Son of a bitch. Oh, here it is. Jimmy has done that. It kind of took me uh, by surprise that he did it again. And this is pre Harambe, pre rape whistle. Friends are saying he's defying with all Sicilian saying. I mean, and he just doesn't care. You know, he's at the point where he's saying what he feels. And now it's up to people whether they're going to believe him or not. Uh, so when people come at me and tell me I'm delusional to think all this stuff, um, you know, I've heard a lot of things along the way. And this is one of the things I've heard. Um, I don't think I've ever seen any evidence that the guy is paying anybody. You know, but I'm just going to leave. Uh, I believe that they're a big influence on the mafia genre, without a doubt. Their influence may be on simps who want to kiss their ass because I've never heard Angel try to push anything on nobody. Simps might want to appease her like Piggy, people like Piggy who might want to appease her by doing birthday parties and stuff like that. Because of the fact that when they... Uh, I'll give you an example. When Angel goes in these rooms, and she's in all of them now, <laughs> even, she even goes in the rooms with the little tiny shows. Why did you read? Well, isn't that like, a, oh, Jimmy Cheeks. Here's, here's Jimmy Cheeks, Johnny A. Liars, Michael Myers. Look at Michael Myers. Tell me that's not the Michael Myers mask. I just watched Halloween, the last one, Mike, and it sucked. You shouldn't have let Corey get away with that, taking your mask. But Jimmy, oh, my God, Jimmy A. Light looks like he's fucking melting. He looks like a fucking wax candle back there. And he was way away from the screen, and he was wearing an extra small T-shirt to make his muscles bul bulge out. This is him trying to hide that, you know, elephant boy face. <laughs> Reach out for John Gotti Jr. six years ago. Me and my brother had a falling out. No, let's tell the truth, Jimmy Cheeks. You stabbed your brother in the back, and rightfully so, because your brother's a scumbag. We should never stab your brother in the back, but the Theoletto brothers. Uh, Johnny sent him a message saying, if you stab me in the back once again, I'm going to tell you how you jerked me off when I was a little kid. So Johnny Aletto claimed that Jimmy jerked him off as a little kid. Um, it's called Tuggies for Tendies. Johnny and uh, would tr and him would trade chicken tendies to each other's for a tug. Sick but true. And I was trying to make. Actually, it was before the pulling out. Take it, take it back. John, John wanted to make peace. John wanted to make peace, and he said, "I won't tell people you jerked me off when I was four." Fucking freak. Uh, was tired of all the bullshit. Get up in front of the camera, you ugly son of a bitch. Going on. Wanted to make peace. Came to me, and I became the middleman to reach out to John. Not true. You told the truth and said your brother was lying about everything. You told the truth. You told Chris Casparosa, and you told, uh, I don't know if it was Gotti Jr. or a tape you sent, where, and you took a lie detector test that your brother was full of shit the whole time. Not Junior. Okay, because that's the big thing that's said. And look, the lights are going off. He's trying to hide that face of his. That you, I'm melting. That you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And when he did the show with Jimmy Cheeks, he's like, can you move up? We can't see you. Can All right, this is me, Tanya, and Paps discussing the Jimmy Cheeks interview. Yes, who said elephant boy? Jimmy Cheeks definitely looks like elephant boy. He's John fucking Merrick. He's in the horse stables. He's getting visited at three in the morning by sweaty men. Can we? Can you move up a yeah. little? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. The GG's caught. Yeah, we're asking him to move up. Did, who said GG gorgeous in the chat? That's right. Tanya told us the story about GG gorgeous. Now people might say, "What is the GG gorgeous thing?" Okay, real fast for you. Jimmy Cheeks was in love with Tanya. 
he he was asking, like, send me pictures of you. So Tanya would send him pictures of herself and like modeling poses and stuff like that. Nothing lewd or nothing. So Cheeks kept saying, I want more pictures. And he wouldn't give her no pictures. So she started sending pictures of Gigi Gorgeous, who is a, a transgender, started sending pictures of Gigi Gorgeous in bathing suits and lingerie. And Jimmy A. Light thought they were Tanya. And yes, he was doing dirty things with the pitches, but he didn't know they were really Gigi Gorgeous's pitches, who is a man. I thought you guys were fucking around about how he looks. <laughs> I thought it was an accident that he was keeping back like that in the dark. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, then, and then when he came forward, he came so close to the camera that you couldn't really see him. <laughs> I'm like, dude, which one is it? Are you gonna? Yeah, yeah. When you back? asked him, yeah, when you asked him the movie, he just did like a little shuffle, like the electric slide. Like he moved to one <laughs> side, and the other side, electric slide. That's all he did. You still couldn't yeah. see him. And then he kept making the arms and flexing his muscles. That's and right. It was. And you know what? Awesome. And you know what else? That to know? overcompensate, you know, his face, you know, so. <laughs> You wouldn't pay attention to the face. That's so true. To overcompensate, he was trying to show the muscles. You would pay yes. attention to the muscles. Yes. And you know what else? You know what else he told me? He said to me, "Hey Lee, do me a favor before the show starts. Tell <laughs> people, tell people that you know I've been with a million women." <laughs> what? Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I swear. Yeah. And then he calls me back up and he goes, "Lee, don't forget." Tell them I've been with thousands of women. Uh, and I'm like thinking my, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of That's true. Uh, he told Paps behind the scenes, when you go live, can you tell people that I slept with thousands of women? I'm like, oh, I fucking say that. Very, very weird. Uh, did Paps and Terry time have a thing? I don't know too much about that. All I know is that Terry... Is actually, I'm not making fun of people like this, but Terry was born uh, a hermaphrodite. And uh, so for uh, a long time in Terry's life, she identified as a man. Now Terry identifies as a woman. I'm not making fun of her for it. I'm just saying the truth. Not that many people know that. She scrubbed her channel, scrubbed the original videos when she talked about that. But that's the truth. You can ask anybody in those communities and they will tell you that. The people who watched it from the beginning. No, Jerry, not slow Terry, the one I debated. Slow, not slow Terry. Old Terry, uh, Terrysaurus Rex, uh, Pterodact Pterodactyl. It's this old, uh, creepy woman. Uh, real old creep. She's a woman now, but like I said, she was born a hermaphrodite. This is episode five. She's actually a lot lizard. Yeah, she is a lot lizard, old Terry. She would uh, go to the truck stops and meet boyfriends and stuff. Okay, so this page right here is created. Now, these are the original pages that were made. This is the same pages that had my head with a Jewish star around it. Tanya is the same ones who had FBS's Piggy's kid on it. Piggy's wife, Piggy's kid. And then they tried to blame Angel Gotti and New Beginnings for making them. They didn't make them. JC and Gene made them. Everybody knows that. And Gacy goes on piggy's channel amazing this page is called um and 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 this is not a face of um angel Gotti. what they do is they made her look bigger but this this page right here was done by the minions that are with um johnny a light and i just want to give you show you this here the second picture here i'm married i didn't realize i got married a matter of fact i had a big fight about that because i'm not supposed to get married you know, I can go go to jail for that. You do it too many times. Uh -huh. But um, this is. But I'm going to show you the demented stuff, though. Yeah, I don't even right think now, promote. I don't even right, think I should promote this. Well, I'm going to show it because if people understand, they have to know 
how demented and twisted these people are. It's they got a, they, they got a kid on my lap here mm -hmm. pulling me a pedophile and somebody's face on it. Uh, you know, and just it's it's <laughs> I mean, just look at this stuff that they do. And I can't even open this up and have you read some of the quotes in here because they're so uh, dirty old man, no teeth. <laughs> Make sure you go check out Lee the Baby Snatch Your Cold. <laughs> his new episode, Catching a Predator. He goes into detail how he used to put Jolly Ranchers on a fishing rod to lure little kids. <laughs> no, this is sick and not true, but it is funny. But <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. But that is funny, learning Jolly Ranchers on a pole. But that's not Paps. Paps ain't a creep like that. That's the, uh, what's that? That's Harambe. Harambe's doing that and ripping women. Harambe, Tony Rape Whistle. I, I shouldn't have even said your name. This is what Gene said. He was like, I, I guess this is Piggy explaining how he's becoming friends with Borello. And there's all the mob pitches around and all that stuff. And Piggy, let's, let's, let, let's listen to Piggy himself. I shouldn't have even said your name. My bad. Um, you don't talk about me. I won't talk about you fine that was the end now, why would you even talk to it oh, i know why you would but don't talk to stool pigeons it gets you nowhere would someone talk to a pedo or a ripper yes he will he did they talk to rippers and they meet rapists the page that was up at the time the nun and says where's the pimple this is when the pimple was taken off uh the boss had some sort of assurance insurance at work and they uh, they took the pimple off of Piggy's head. So That's this is uh, uh, AP, after pimple, instead of uh, BP, before pimple. This is after pimple, AP, after pimple. Bob Page or whatever it was on Instagram. It had stuff about me all over. Yep, that page, JC and them and Gene made, who you're friends with now, were the ones who were putting your kid on it, dude. Well, your wife's kid. Lee and, and Angel. And like a couple of days after this conversation, all the stuff about me came down. Hmm. And I think that's another hmm. coincidence there. Another thing that led people to believe all of a sudden that I was friends with Gene. But you are friends with Gene and bragged about it. I didn't know Gene was going to take the shit down. If that was even him running the page, which I'm quite sure it was. Of course it is. You know Gacy and Gene run that page. You know Jimmy Calandra called Gene's probation officer. You know that. But I didn't I, I didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, that was never told to me, oh, we'll take this stuff down. It was just a deal made. You don't fuck with me and I won't fuck with you. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm quick to, 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 to have conflict with people and... and Go back and forth, whatever. But I don't look for beef somewhere. I like to go uh -huh. to sleep at night and wake up in the morning, not wondering who. Piggy, the wiggy, wiggy. What? What did you just say, Piggy? Come on, Piggy. Fuck is attacking today. So if I can knock out one of these beefs, I try to do it. So when Gene said you don't talk to me or talk about me, I will talk about you. I took them up. On. Then those pictures came, down, and that never really even a conversation. He would message me every now and then. You know what I mean? Like usually like a message for somebody else or some shit like that. Um, just dumb shit. Nothing that really ever meant anything. Uh, and sometimes I would answer him. Sometimes I wouldn't. A lot of the times I just ignored it, especially. Well, most times you answered him. And look what I wrote there. I but plus he will attack your wife. Towards the end. Um, and then, you know, when it got to the point where the pages started going up, about Angel and everybody and shit. I said, fuck it. I told him. My last message to him was, you motherfucker, I know that you're behind these fucking pages. Uh, now we'll see who plays dirt. Something to that effect. Or I'm gonna, I'm, now I'm gonna play something like that. And how'd that go? You and Gene got in a mud wrestling match and started French kissing? Then I just walked. That's Maybe it. Gene stuck his thumbs in your ass and you just became pretty good friends after that? Yeah. Uh, and I haven't uh, spoken to him or anything since. Well, the other night. Uh, well, I haven't talked to him since. But but wait, wait. The other night, he 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 sang uh, a Mariah Carey song to me. The other night, uh, Jesus, some other stuff. Some other and, stuff. And you know, yeah, I, I kind of uh, messaged him and spoke my mind for a second and then blocked. Him. 
So, but there's no, there's never been a conversation. There's never been like conversation. You just said you spoke to him on the phone. Is it and a friendship? That shit's crazy. No, it's not. You are a proud Borello fan right now. You are the rat whisperer. You recently threw the helmet under the bus for Borello. And now Gene Borello has got all five fingers inserted into your backside. If you guys know how the fuck I feel about John A. And you love A Light now, though. Your wife had a shirt that said Mrs. A Light. And, and honestly, Gene and his crimes and all that shit. Uh, and you think I'd be friends with him. Oh, hold on a minute there. Gene and his crimes. You mean home invading old women? You have, what do you mean? You've got common sense on your channel who home invaded people in their 70s. Come on, you've got Tony Rape Whistle, Harambe, who puts the ape and rape on your channel. You went to meet him. You put your wife in arm's reach of Harambe. Dude, that's bad. I haven't done a good enough job explaining who I am and what I'm all about. Uh, no, you lie all the time. <laughs> he has many lies. The 302 Whisperer. That's a good one, Blessed. We're from Queens, man. Oh, he has the kissy face. The kissy face. Listen, anytime you see a man who makes selfies like this with the ducky lips, listen, they suck dick, okay? I don't care how hot I show. They're fucking faggots, okay? And nothing against fags. I got a cousin who's a half a fag, all right? Nothing against fags, you know, nothing against people like that. But he's got to be one, especially what a beta soy boy male he is and how he'll follow anybody. He's the seventh to off all the time following people. I live life by the skin of my balls. Did you? I live life. No, you live life in your grandmother's house. You live in Grammy's house. And when they don't give you money for pot, you go out and you punch the walls naked and jump on their bed and naked at two in the morning. You know. Never had shit. And you know what? Maybe I won't ever be shit. Oh, I never had shit. Maybe I'll never be shit. This is sympathy right here. Like, the, he just wants sympathy beating up on himself. Go get a job and take care of that young child you have. Yeah, but I'm going to fucking try with this YouTube to become some. To become something. He actually thought he would become famous off of YouTube. What kind of sick, demented world do you live in? And let me get, get let me tell you, Gunpoke, what's next? Hobbits are going to come in your backyard and ask you to go help find the ring? You think Throdo and Samwell, uh, Sam Baggins, whatever the fuck his name is, are going to come ask you to go to Mordor? Wow. Well, hopefully something happens for me. But, but fuck it, at least I tried with something. Well, you know you got out of that? You got up a whole... You could never go to a mafia con or one of these little mob fanboy things where they go and have Michael Francis sign their bicep. You could never go there. You and Piggy could never go to them. People would smash you for all the attacks you've done to these women in this community. You could never go there. So your admirations and dreams are done for that. All you can hope for is a 20 bag of weed. No. Listen no. to the delusions of this 38-year-old fucking man who lives with his grandparents. Good at sports. Never cared, gave a fuck about sports. You were that. never good at sports. So you're just a pure shit bum weakling just living in your hot Grammy's house. Oh, bullshit. So. All I ever cared about was the mafia. You know what I'm saying? Listen to this. All I ever cared about was the mafia. Meaning watching movies. These guys are all mob fucking simps and groupies. And they never knew a mob guy a day in their lives. Never even came across one. They're just a bunch of fucking fanboys. A lot of the bullshit. All I ever cared about. He is a little diva. He's like the little diva of the crew. Well, diva. A lot of the bullshit. All I ever cared about was the mafia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the mafia documentaries, mob history, mafia books. Wow. By all of them. Anything. I used to go to sleep fucking listening to fucking mob books and fucking mafia documentaries. And wow. Wake up fucking uh, reading more books and shit. I used to jerk off to the fucking documentaries for Christ's sake, probably. Who knows? No, uh, you don't say, listen, not probably. You did. You don't say that. You touched yourself to mafia documentaries. That's some weird shit. These are the Wonder Bread Wops who worship mob shit. Never been around wise guys in their life.
wouldn't know never in their life just wish it that's why they hate people who were around gangsters and stuff like that or they want to get close to people who are around gangsters i even jagged off to it he even a, jerked like who what a degenerate how much i fucking love the mob so my point is i'm here for a reason i don't know all right but here's my point if you really did love the mob and was a mob fanboy you wouldn't love the rats but you love the rats you bent over for jimmy calandra with no vaseline that's how i see it for some reason i'm, I'm a part of this mob too actually because i actually uh actually shared your channel and no one would ever know who you were you'd be still a simp in the chat going look at me i have a channel please help me me did a few jag off videos and they caught on a little bit and now i'm like you know i haven't really even been talking on this shit a lot lately because you, you have no talent two, three weeks you know your live stream sucks but uh your live streams suck. All you guys do, all you do is you have no talent for live streams. All you can, the only time you get views is when you put people's families up and dox people and threaten women. You will always be known for the men who threaten women and your heroes, kid. All these guys' heroes with John Gotti was their hero. And now there's videos of these guys threatening his daughter, his granddaughter, threatening them all. Like, how are you going to go to a mob con with other fanboys? Other fanboys are going to chew you up and spit you out. And let me tell you, anybody who wanted to start a YouTube channel right now and you live in Queens or in New York, if anybody goes and finds Pulse Smoke and slaps it in the mouth on camera, oh, my God, their channel would blow up. Everybody would stream that. Uh, like, go and make him take his pants off and ducky faces. Forget about it. That's why he hides behind the curtains when he did threaten people's lives. And uh, the little birdie said a couple of guys went by to beat him up. Uh, he hid behind the blinds and the curtains and called the cops. You know, we're back. <sighs> we're back. Some good things are coming soon, motherfucker. What's he Thank talking you. about? Wow, that was a weird little pathetic oh, self-loathing diet oh. yeah, this is good fellas if you notice after i started making fun of piggy about the mob shirts he didn't wear them no more My, uh... yeah i love the mafia <laughs> i love actors pantomime actors who play wise guys Ooh. wow i think it's the uh, yeah 30th anniversary <laughs> Goodfellas shirt. I love this shirt. I collect uh, these mob shirts. Look what he did. Like, you know, fucking, you got to be tough as nails. This guy took a fucking life sentence. Once again, just him praising John Gotti again. It's like it was nothing. How can you go from such a fan of a human being and get into an argument with his daughter and then hating that? Just show, like, no integrity. Like, if you liked Gotti, don't matter what. You you go, I had a disagreement with his daughter. You should still like and respect the guy because you love him your whole life. Just no integrity, nothing. These men are fucking soft. They're weak. They bend like the wind. Forget about it. It's like if I uh, I love Andrew Jackson, right? Seventh president. Love Andrew Jackson. If I've met one of Andrew Jackson's family members and I ended up hating them, I'd still love Andrew Jackson. And. Stayed tough throughout his entire sentence. Cancer. You know, having his lower jaw removed. Being disfigured. Um, he wouldn't even take pain pills when he was suffering. Through. But Piggy will. But <laughs> Piggy will. Through all that shit. Couldn't have been a tougher guy as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and the only other kind of toughness would be, you know, as a boss. Oh my yeah, we know he didn't take any shit. Such cringe. It, it, this is the thing now. I mean, look. This is before the YouTube chair and everything. This is back, uh, this is the early days of Piggy's show. He scrubbed all his videos. These guys are glorified. Rats are being glorified every day. Rats are being glorified every day. Like, this is your own words, dude. You glorify rats 24 7. You're friends with all the rats. You are nothing like what you started on here. A total fugazi. Hey, um, they're the they're the heroes now of, of the mafia and of every 
love what uh, Cuban B just says. Right there, Cuban B, straight up kill a commie for mom, he says. Ha-ha, Angel told him to buzz off one week later. He hates his hero, John Gotti. Can't deny that. Piggy, how did, that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, Piggy, how do you deny that? You loved and worshipped John Gotti until Angel wouldn't listen to you, and then you hated him. Just so, like, what the fuck? else they're the, they're the guy everybody looks up to and subscribe you look up to and subscribe to and have on your channel subscribes to and 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 takes interest in it's it's crazy when, when but you're doing that now and even 20 years ago uh we would have spit in these people's faces if they even showed their face in public after doing what they did but now not only but now you'll stick your tongue up gene and jimmy's ass and bill Catullo's ass joan rivers bill Catullo, mild bill looks like joan let me do an impression of uh of wild bill i mean mild bill buying a schweppes ginger ale uh hi what kind of sodas do you got we got some schweppes ginger ale okay i'll have that schweppes ginger ale i'll have a glass of schweppes fucking pussy you transform a breeding motherfucker it's acceptable it's fashionable it's fashionable it's like um you know it's almost the cool thing to do I and you're doing it I mean, the fact that uh, Takashi 6 9 is not only still alive, but able to still sell records and have this huge following and social media following and everything, that says everything, okay? And I know some people want to be, be no, that's just that type of... Takashi, if Takashi 6 9 came up to you and said, Piggy, I want you to blow this horse, you would say Mr. Ed or Free Flicker or Seabiscuit people and that's just because look how you bent over for the stool pigeons the mob stool pigeons you would bend over for any urban stool pigeon in a hoppy alpo uh uh six nine any of them but it's everywhere man I, it's every, everywhere I, man literally just speaking about him so like look at the uh, oh my god everybody's Ironic. telling and, and if they're not they'd be willing to under the right circumstances trust me okay trust him so uh i think that's it uh i just wanted to get that off yes alpo is dead but if he was alive piggy would take him whole uh piggy in the bars would double team his ass you better believe that my chest because i've been seeing it more and more and it's you know i <laughs> take a look in the mirror i'm looking at the queer in the mirror I'm looking how to blow Jimmy. And if Clavandra pulled my pants down and it got any bigger, take a look at yourself. And I don't know, shake a, take a chain. I don't know how it goes. It's like, it, it's fucking infuriating sometimes to, to listen to these people. Fuck with uh, Jimmy. Anyone who puts a dead body's name and look, yeah, that's, that's, that's rotten. And the Tonto crew is the worst, right? The Tonto crew. All right, I think this is me talking about the helmet crew and the Tonto crew. I think, believe. Well, are the bad guys. 100%. The Tonto squad team. At this time, Team Tonto was way worse than Team Helmet. Team Braves uh, are the worst. Uh, I think I called them Team Tonto's Braves versus Helmet's Hamsters. They sexually attack. They do rotten things. They put young kids who are struggling with drugs on people. Now, I don't like Jimmy the Helmet because he ratted on people. But the Helmet is not doing the th things that the Tonto crew is doing. No, at the time, the Helmet was not. And we were trying to push the Helmet to uh, fight with Aleto. You know? So that's why a lot of people will get rused by the helmet and join Team Helmet. Yes, that's how Jimmy was very easily spreading Jimmy dust around. He tried to throw Jimmy dust on me. The helmet would come in my chat like, Mare, I think you funny, Mare. And I would reply, get out of my chat, you filthy rat bastard. Which is, if you're a content creator, don't be joining up with these stole pigeons. It's fucking not smart. Yeah, it's, it's Team Helmet, Jimmy's Helmets against Tonto's Braves. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> you know? All right, so uh, what do I got to do? What do I got to do to join this fucking Discord again?
again. Do I have to go and for shades? The Discord was destroyed by then. Shades, the Discord. I, mean, I should never made the Discord. Here's why: I had an open link. I had people coming in posting dead kids, dead people, all kinds of sick porno shit, all kinds of crazy shit. So I had to shut that down. Paint on Gene Barello's white Mercedes rack. <laughs> what do I gotta do to get down with the crew again, huh? I really don't. It's only like probably like three. We don't even really type in there no more. It's probably like three people left in there because there was too many trolls coming in. Yeah, there was too many. At the end, there was like three people in there that never even spoke. I would check it once a week and I just said, you know what? I'm just shutting it down. It was pointless. Just so many trolls coming in and spamming all kinds of crazy stuff that yeah. it was kind of like a bad idea to make it anyways. Because I thought so. But yeah, it, it was no, Kane is right. It was a bad idea to make it because just a bunch of trolls dropped in and were dropping porn bomb and shit, all kinds of stuff. But it, nothing but trolls come in. I hardly go in. Hardly anyone even goes in there no more because it's like it's dead because like i said if i leave the link i should have thought of that before i really did it thought it out more and better mm -hmm. because all i have is trolls coming in there and uh spam and like dead people. just weird creepy stuff yeah man. it seemed like when i was in there there was like it was a free for all uh, oh, hey, but, but guess what shout out to this <laughs> <laughs> you're right it was brutal uh yeah. every other day it was just uh every time i checked it i had one of the mods it's like oh my god these people i didn't know who to mod then i modded a wrong person yeah one time i modded the wrong person right and they started spamming gay porn in there oh, <laughs> who started spamming things and kicking people out it was just pure <laughs> chaos. yeah then they were booting everybody see, it was not see all this going on I don't all right this is the we're going into the home stretch right here i guess this is once again, when it maybe the first or second time Angel went on piggies because his shirt's not blue like in the beginning. I don't want to see people fighting. And I've always tried to just like be the peacemaker and try to make you two, you know. But then things just got so ugly. There was not even, it was, you couldn't even get involved and help anymore. Uh, I know it's, uh, this is. Is this pre-pimple? I don't. I don't know if the pimple's there or post-pimple. Oh no, this is pre-pimple. This is PD, pre uh, PP, pre-pimple. No, no, wait, BP uh, before pimple. It's all sickening, but you know you. I love it. You know these people talk like as if you have no right to defend your family. You um, you're getting attacked left and right, and you're. <laughs> and who's doing that? You piggy, and you can scrub the channel all you want. All that shit's downloaded. You will pay for that. I don't mean physically or nothing, Piggy. I mean pay for that. Uh, all the bringing up people's social security numbers, all that creepy stuff. Uh, the, <laughs> the day of reckoning is coming very soon for you, Piggy. If I was you, I'd be nervous about losing the YouTube channel, about lawsuits. It don't going to be a bad night for Piggy. <laughs> Didn't go on really bad for Piggy. Read a couple of chats, then we'll shut it down. You got a post where he got his forehead aged real bad, and he's trying to was like two inches. Uh, we posted a few of them before; they were pretty big. What a flip flopping piece of shit! Yeah, they are they're real flip flop. What's up, Cleveland? Piggy definitely has Down syndrome. Uh, I don't think Piggy has that. I think he has Piggyitis. Uh, what is Piggyitis? It's sort of like don't be a Jimmy. It's a flipping and a flopping. <laughs> On your knees with Bill Catula, stuck in all the uh and what's up, Monte? All right, we're gonna shut this down. Uh, next week I'll play. Uh, I'm gonna let some more of the the novellas go up and uh and I'll play a few at a time and stuff and like that. But uh, hey, God bless everybody. Uh, I don't know if uh maybe I might shut this down. If anybody else going live, if somebody's going live, I won't mess around on here no more tonight. But if anybody's going live, I'll shut it down. Maybe I'll be back in a little bit few hours i don't know who knows yes don't be a jimmy for sure and make sure everybody goes and uh supports uh josie's book we'll uh we'll share it when it comes out what's up david tim cleveland i want to thank everybody for the super chat oh yeah stupid chat war scam listen anybody who has any sort of super chat wars is an idiot no one Oh, you're not going to go on, Angel? Anybody else going on? I don't see uh, if anybody else want to let me know because I'll pop up if somebody wants to join and uh, bullshit about this. Uh, maybe we'll have some chats. 
Ah, the bars got off lightly, chow. Stay raising his damn kids. I can't do it no more. Anthony, what's up? And pre like the two, like 200? I don't know what that means, like 200. But all right, folks, go slow. I might be back. Might not. Who knows? If anybody wants to ever use my content and take it, you go right ahead. I don't strike channels or copyright people or nothing like that. So have a good one. We will be back with the novella series another time. Uh, maybe I'll be back in a little bit. Who knows?